Hey, LS11 Universe, it's Xander. <laughs> and Ray, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. Welcome to the night you've all been waiting for. Welcome to the Forbidden War Night 1. Yes, Xander, sorry guys, I have food in my mouth, I'm sorry, I'm done. Um, yes, Xander, we're kicking off with a big match in my opinion, maybe one of the biggest matches of the weekend, Roman Reigns and John Moxley. Absolutely, the Chief without a tribe, Roman Reigns, gonna make his way down to the ring tonight. Reigns, when we first started the road to the Forbidden War over a month ago now, we started on an episode of Monday Night Raw where Seth Rollins came out to address the LS11 universe and he called out any member of the AEW roster come face to face with him. John Moxley would make his way through the crowd, tell Seth Rollins, I'm not here for you. The guy I'm here for knows who he is. Roman Reigns would make his way out to the ring, receive a huge ovation from the LS11 universe in that moment. And Roman Reigns and John Moxley would come face to face on that night, Roman Reigns told Moxley, I don't want to fight you. I'm not going to give in and just give you what you want. And Moxley told him, good. He takes the fun away if I don't make you bleed first. And over the following weeks, Moxley would ambush Roman Reigns on Raw, bust Roman Reigns open, and Roman told him, all right, you made me taste my own blood. That's your big mistake, Mox. Let's do it. No holds barred. Mox and Roman set for a war. This has been a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. This is a match over a decade in the making. Absolutely. You look at the implosion of the Shield in 2014. John Moxley, then known better at the time as Dean Ambrose, would be the one that would target Seth Rollins for destroying the Shield. Whereas Roman Reigns, I mean, Roman Reigns went straight into trying to become a champion. But now, tonight... These two former brothers who, at this point in time, have very scarcely found themselves on opposite sides of the ring from one another, are going to find each other's enemies as here he comes, security escorting him through backstage. That's how dangerous this man is. The master of unscripted violence, at one point known as the lunatic fringe, John Moxley is storming his way down to the ring. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. John Moxley, the wild thing. Unscripted violence, to say the least. And he is in his element tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Roman Reigns likes to talk about how this place is his yard. Well, the hardcore match, the hardcore style, that's John Moxley's yard. John Moxley. John Moxley, Roman Reigns, one on one. Here we go. And right out of the gate, Moxley with a knee strike. Moxley, at this point, the scary thing about John Moxley is this, Ray. I don't think he cares if he wins. I think he wants to reawaken something in Roman Reigns that we haven't seen in a very long time. I agree, Xander. I think John Moxley craves resolution with Roman Reigns. Here tonight, and Roman Reigns, we've seen it. We've seen what he's done as the Tribal Chief. This is right as Moxley takes him down. Moxley goes for a kick. Reigns out of the way. Roman Reigns went for a clothesline. This is not going to be pretty. This is not going to be a technical masterpiece. This isn't going to be Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect. That's not what you're going to see at all. This is more going to be what you see in a blood sport. Headbutt from Roman taking down Moxley. There's now a minute. Moxley hits the ropes. Roman. Roman's going to be the first one to introduce a weapon. He's got a kendo stick. And Roman Reigns. Oh, went for a shot with a Singapore cane. But Moxley, like you said, in his element right now, whips Roman Reigns in the back with it. Reigns out of the way. And Reigns with a headbutt taking him down. Now Reigns picking up Moxley. He's got a hold of him. And Reigns. Oh! A punch into the back of the head and slams down John Moxley for good measure. Roman Reigns going after the head again. John Moxley is down. There's another kick to the ribs. Roman Reigns kicks him again. Mox is down. 
Roman Reigns went for a right hook. Moxley. Whoa, Moxley. Hold on a minute. No! Looks like he didn't think of pile driver there, but Reigns has got him down. Roman Reigns. Back into the corner. Big boot from Roman Reigns taking down Moxley. And to address a quick elephant in the room with the arena, this was uh, back in a previous patch. The game when created arena was super broken. This gets fixed later on in the show after a couple matches. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. Apparently, porting a feature from that's been in the game for five years is too difficult for 2K to not mess up. Anyways, oh, Moxley with an elbow into the ribs of Roman Reigns. And now John Moxley firing away on him, shoves back Roman, and Moxley goes for another right hook. Roman Reigns counters, and Reigns into the guillotine. Reigns into the guillotine. That one in many of matches last season when he was WWE champion. Now Reigns going to keep twerking this here. And Moxley trying to get himself free. Moxley passes the leg. And, oh, Moxley gets out. And Roman Reigns rolls back to his feet now. Roman Reigns, right hook from John Moxley. And John Moxley with another right hook. Moxley firing away on Reigns. Moxley is taking strong, stiff strikes to the head. Those knuckles going right into the forehead of Roman Reigns. John Moxley, like I said, his mission tonight is to make Roman Reigns bleed. But Reigns turns it around and flattens him. Moxley now falls out of the ring, and what is Roman Reigns thinking here? Now Reigns. Here we go, Roman Reigns. Oh, tries to fly, Moxley gets out of the way. And now Moxley. Reigns is in a precarious situation here. Roman getting him back up to his, getting picked back up to his feet, and Mox slams him into the announce table. Down goes Reigns, and Moxley really thinking about going hardcore here. Clear off the table, but Roman Reigns grabs onto him, and Reigns falls back with him. Oh, it picks him up again for another suplex. Here we go. Taking him down again, Roman A Reigns. A gut wrench. Roman Reigns suplex in another one. Reigns takes him down, and Roman Reigns now. Steel chair in hand. Moxley, oh, shoves it in his face. And now John Moxley grabs onto Roman Reigns and Moxley, oh dear God, on the floor. Oh Moxley, God. pile driver on the floor. Pile drives Reigns on the floor and this crowd is chanting, we want tables. Moxley saying essentially, I know you do. I know you do, MSG. As now Mox has got that table set up and John Moxley, oh dear God, ignites the table. Sets it ablaze, but Roman Reigns with a right hook. And Reigns, right hook again, and Roman grabs on the box. Oh, and that table just collapses. The flames disp the flames just go away, because that's how fire works, don't you know? Yeah. Just, if the thing on fire just falls a little bit, the fire goes away. Like magic. Exactly. As Reigns runs back, going, oh, runs right in. Massive kick to the face from John Moxley. Roman now staggering back up to his feet. Moxley goes for a right hook. Mox fired away on Roman, shoves him back again. John Moxley, big forearm smash to, to Roman Reigns and Moxley. Oh, he, had a, he just happened to have another match with him, I guess. Mox sets the table ablaze again and Reigns runs right into him. Big boot connects. Moxley goes down. Big boot, and he said Moxley went down there, and now Moxley, oh my god, he picked up. He's up on oh the shoulders. Oh my god, Reigns. oh my god, no, 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 no. Through the table. Through the fire and the flames, Moxley's body drops. And now Roman pulls out a baseball bat, and Roman... We're in New York. I was going to say swinging for the fences like the Yankees. Close line from John Moxley. And now Mox up to the top rope. Dives on the range with a close line. And Moxley now grabs onto Roman. John Moxley. Big forearm again to Reigns. And now Roman turns it around and Roman punching Mox in the face. And Roman Reigns has got John Moxley down. Roman Reigns into the corner. Reigns, here we go. Oh, runs in like he's going to go for the spear, but I think he ran out of steam. Oh, and Moxley, the returning. And oh, Moxley. Oh. 
Death Rider! The Death Rider Connect, there we go! One, two, no! Roman Reigns shows it's gonna take a lot more than that to put him down. Roman rolls back to his feet, and Reigns hits the ropes. Oh, runs right into Moxley. Headbutts him though. And now Roman has got him down, but Moxley pulling himself back under the corner. Mox doesn't stay down. And Reigns, massive forearm into the back of the head. Moxley may not stay down, but Reigns is going to do his damnedest to make sure he does. Here we go. Locked and loaded. Wait for the Superman punch. Mox out of the way. Mox pulls him in again. Moxley lifts him up again. Another no, 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 no. pile driver. Roman is down, and John Moxley going to look to end it. Put Roman down for good. Make short work on the Chief without a try. Reigns with a counter. Roman Reigns now punches him in the gut. And again. And now Reigns. Sending Mox into the corner. Roman Reigns. Right hook connects. And Roman Reigns fire away repeatedly on John Moxley here. Knocks him down. Mox goes down to the corner now. And John Moxley knees into the face from Roman Reigns here. Reigns has got him down. And Roman with John Moxley down. Roman Reigns. Here we go. He's looking to take him out here for good. Moxley. Spear. Reigns with a spear levels Mox for the one, for the two. No! Kick out from John Moxley. And Roman Reigns grabs that baseball bat. And Reigns, look at that, swinging it. He's getting ready to swing for the fences. Off the skull of John Moxley. And Moxley's opened up. John Moxley, well, it's just another Saturday for him, though. Reigns is bashing his head in with that baseball bat, but Moxley swipes it out of Reigns' hands and nails him across the ribs. Remember Roman Reigns herniated the rib back in 2014, took him out of action. John Moxley reaches out for him. Reigns is down on the outside, and John Moxley double axe handle the Reigns. And now Mox, oh, Mox is getting the stairs. Stairs in the hand, bashes them into the face of Roman. And John Moxley hits him across the back and drops the steps on him. John Moxley now looking under the ring and Moxley, John, what, what the you, hell? What are you planning to do with that? What the hell, John? Pulls out a ladder, pulls out another table. And even Roman's looking at him like, dude, what the hell? Never mind, Reigns was lying in wait for a spear. That's what he was doing. Reigns was saying, I'm not waiting, I'm not waiting around to see what he has planned for that. And now Roman grabbing one of the chairs from the timekeeper's area. And the chief without a tribe slides back into the ring. John Moxley staggering in Reigns. We got a whole TLC match in that ring right now. We got a table, a ladder, and a chair, and Roman's got another chair. Mox! Runs in and wipes him out with a clothesline. And John Moxley now grabs onto him, throws Reigns into the announce table, and John Moxley with Roman Reigns oh on the table. Oh my God, Xander! Puts him in the ribs, Mox. Brainbuster! Brainbuster to our announce table. Roman is down. Mox. Gets him back up, launches him back into the ring, grabs that chair, and John Moxley sliding back in. Chair to the back. And again, John Moxley going into the arm of Reigns. That's the arm Reigns uses for the Superman punch, but Reigns with a big boot. And now Reigns punching the wound on the head of John Moxley again. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has already been very brutal. This is not something you can just walk away from. You're absolutely right. As now Reigns grabs that table and Roman Reigns sets it up. Mox is in trouble. Roman. Roman now right up to Mox. Moxley staggering towards that table. Mox finds the counter and Mox circling Reigns again. It's a game of who's going to try and kill the other next. 
as Roman's got him up, powerbomb position. He's got John Moxley right in front of that table. Roman getting ready to set Mox down, powerbomb him through the table, but Moxley, hang on a minute. Roman was, out of it. Roman was trying to show off to the crowd, and Mox used it as an opportunity. Got him in the big clothesline there. Got him in the back, and then got him in the face. Mox with the chair in hand. Roman turns around. Chair to the face from John Moxley. And now Roman Reigns getting treated again. ghetto. Imagine being the referee. Your only job is to count the three. Exactly. The referee's just here as a, just here as a, essentially, as someone to say, all right, ring the bell. We're done. Mox was going for the pile driver. Reigns with a back body drop. And now Roman. Right hook again. Roman trying to knock him towards the corner. Mox finds the counter. John Moxley now with a right hook to Reigns. But Reigns enters back with a forearm of his own. Goes for the guillotine again. Mox counters and Mox. Big clothesline to Roman. And John Moxley now. Elbow across the ribs taking him down. Roman Reigns rolls out of the ring. John Moxley going into the top rope. Just look at the carnage all around this ring these two have left in the last 15 minutes. As there's an elbow drop. From John Moxley, Roman Reigns is down. John Moxley, starting to, starting to wear thin, I think. These men, Xander, they put each other through absolute hell here tonight. Roman Reigns is down. John Moxley grabs that same kendo stick Roman had used on him earlier. And Mox. Reigns is finally starting to pick himself up here. Oh! Mox gets him in the back and the head. Reigns back to his feet though. Close line taking him down. And now Roman has got John Moxley down. Big boot again from Reigns. And Roman Reigns kicks him in the ribs. And now kicking him in the head. Roman is just trying to do more and more damage to that wound on the head of John Moxley. And Moxley is feeling the effects right now, but Moxley. Moxley and Roman having one hell of a slobber knocker here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, into the, into the table again. And now, wait, what's Moxley doing? Oh, back suplex sends Roman through the table. <coughs> Moxley puts Reigns through the table. That's a second table shattered tonight. Moxley kicking Reigns in the head. Really, it's the third. That's true. And now Moxley's just going into the face of Roman. We're at, we're at our first match still, guys. We still got we still got eight matches to go tonight. Oh yeah, seven to eight tomorrow. It's ten tomorrow. Nine matches tonight, ten tomorrow. What do we do for you people? Anyway, Roman Reigns. <laughs> Roman Reigns has got him down now, and now Roman, it's become just a slugfest at this point. This is a fight, Ray. You're a UFC guy. You've seen Matt fights go like this before, haven't you? Well, yes, Sander, but you never quite see it like this. Because by now, if someone got that many clean shots in, by now the fight would have been stopped. Our referee, unfortunately, doesn't have the power. Roman's bleeding. Now Roman's bleeding. Moxley has busted Roman open right below one of his eyes. And now Moxley's laughing. He got exactly what he wanted. Even if Roman scores the three tonight, John Moxley's gotten exactly what he came here for, and that's for Roman Reigns to taste his own blood. And now Mox. Mox has got Roman down, and Moxley grabs that chair again, slides back into the ring, nails him in the head with it. Roman was still dazed. I don't think Roman's quite processed the fact that, holy shit, this is my blood. Moxley cracks him over the head twice. Look at the blood now on the face of the Chief without a tribe. And now Roman Reigns trying to get back up and throw it into the stairs again. John Moxley's got him down. Mox pulls out the steps. Nails him with them. And again. Roman Reigns is down. John Moxley punching him in the face again. 
The carnage that has been left here, ladies and gentlemen. This is something you don't see often here in all Celebrity Universe. Absolutely. It's Roman now into a boot. John Moxley's gone down. Roman Reigns grabs onto him, picking him back up to his feet now. Roman Reigns with John Moxley back into the ring. And Roman Reigns getting back in now, right behind him. Roman, look at the blood on the right side of Reigns' face. His entire, his entire, Roman's entire left eye. It's just swelled shut almost. And now Roman, he's going to end it. Here we go. Roman Reigns, here comes the spear. No! Oh! Mox got on the knee. And John Moxley now with the kendo stick. Hits Roman in the back. The kendo stick just splintered all over Reigns' back. And here comes from up. The thing we're waiting to see use the entire match. What the hell did Moxley bring a ladder into the match for? We're about to find out, I think. He's got it set up against the ropes with Reigns. Oh! You can see Reigns was slowly pulling that chair to himself. Was going to use it to get back to his feet. But John Moxley punches him in the eye. That knee off that spear just nearly knocked Roman Reigns out. Cold and another knee. Moxley with Re William Regal's famous knee strike. Throws Roman off the corner. And John Moxley standing on that ladder, one foot between the rungs. I think I see what he was thinking now, Ray. Oh my God. Death Rider! Reigns goes back first on the ladder. And Moxley, oh my God, he's not done. Mox didn't get exactly what he wanted, but now Roman's head spikes off the ladder with a Death Rider. And John Moxley was two Death Riders, not enough. Kicks he wants him to make wings. sure he puts him down for good. Paradigm shift. One, two, three. Moxley defeats Roman Reigns. John Moxley just beat Roman Reigns. Moxley with one of the biggest wins, maybe the biggest win we've ever seen him get here. Xander, I can literally only think of two previous times in the entire history of this channel that we've seen destruction quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to add the list to the list of LS11 Universe Wars we've seen, I would put Buddy Murphy and Rollins, Champa and Gargano, Reigns and Mox. Absolutely, but it's time to move into another fight. A heavyweight clash. And here comes the Beast. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is here. The Beast Incarnate. This man, tonight he faces someone who many people say is similar to in, in his own way. Brock yeah. Lesnar, of course... This season has been a rather spotty season for us. It's been a rather spotty couple months for Brock Lesnar. But don't get us wrong, Brock Lesnar is still as dangerous as he's ever been. Exactly. Brock Lesnar on a roll right now. Brock Lesnar in the last year and a half of LS11 Universe has only been, been pinned once. And that was at WrestleMania Season 3 by Gunther, the Intercontinental Champion, who we'll see later tonight. But now Brock Lesnar, he's been told... By Raw's general manager, Mick Foley. If he wins tonight, Foley will keep him in mind when picking who challenges either John Cena or MJF for the WWE Championship in three weeks at the Royal Rumble. But Brock Lesnar has got a war on his hands to go through. The Beast of today faces the Beast of tomorrow. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, this man. This is war. This is Wardlow. Mr. Mayhem. It's been a trade back and forth of big move after big move, powerhouse fights. 
Xander, I remember a couple weeks ago on Raw, I saw it where, where Wardlow attacked Ron Lesnar after Brock Lesnar put McFoley through a cha- through a table. Exactly as now, Wardlow looking to handle business tonight, looking to walk in, prove why he is the next generation of monster in professional wrestling. Brock Lesnar can tell him Wardlow he doesn't see much in him. He doesn't think Wardlow's going to get in much of a fight. But Wardlow's looking to prove Lesnar wrong on that front. And he could very well do it here tonight, Xander. Wardlow has had an incredible year thus far. He, he's had continuous problems with the man in our main event tonight. Absolutely he has. But now tonight, Wardlow could look for a career defining victory. What a matchup. This was the first match announced for the Forbidden War. And now tonight, it's about to go down. And it was, Xander, and yes it is. The two big men. And Xander, I, I know he's just lying in wait to say it. To say what, right? What do you think what do you think I'm gonna say? I, I know like you're something about to like say. The big trucks is gonna eat the little trucks! Yes, that. Wardlow firing away on Lesnar. Grabs hold of him now. Wardlow sends him off the ropes. Power slam to Lesnar, taking him down. And now Wardlow getting him back up to his feet. Kicks him in the ribs. Is Lesnar going for the powerbomb symphony early? Wardlow. Oh my god, Wardlow. Power bombs Lesnar out to the floor. You think Brock still doesn't see much? And now Brock. Look out, Wardlow. Go and come through the clothesline. But no, wait. Brock has him up on the shoulders. Oh, and rolling him down. Brock Lesnar. Carrying with big shots for the midsection of Wardlow. Wardlow getting hurt here. Brock Lesnar. Oh, big German launching him. Feet. Oh, my God. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Brock Lesnar and Wardlow are in a slugfest on the outside as Wardlow sends him back into the ring. And Wardlow going up to the top rope. Brock Lesnar back to his feet. Wardlow looking to fly. Oh, Lesnar caught him. Drops him into a knee on the back. Wardlow goes down. Lesnar grabs onto him. Welcome to Suplex City, Wardlow. As Lesnar grabs onto him now and Lesnar... Picks up Wardlow. Big suplex again. Wardlow now pulling himself back up. And Lesnar does it again. And now Brock Lesnar kicked in the le- gets kicked in the leg. Wardlow firing back here. Wardlow gets him in the ribs. Right hook. Now Wardlow picking up Lesnar. Lesnar. Oh, throwing the corner by Wardlow here. Now Warlow picking up Lesnar again. Lesnar's in deep here. And now Warlow, wait a minute, Warlow looking to pay him back. Oh my god, here we go. Jackknife power bomb from Warlow. And now Warlow, Xander, he's calling him up to his feet again. Warlow coming off the ropes. Massive clothesline taking down Lesnar. Lesnar rolls out of the way now, and Lesnar clotheslines him into the corner. Brock Lesnar grabs onto him, and Lesnar drops it back first into the mat. And now Brock getting Wardlow back up to his feet. Brock Lesnar strikes him in the gut now, and Lesnar knocking him back. Brock Lesnar punched in the face by Wardlow. And now Wardlow kicks him in the ribs. Wardlow picks him up, and powerbomb takes him down. Brock Lesnar now is down, center of the ring, Wardlow. Oh, went for an elbow, Lesnar out of the way. Brock Lesnar gets out of the way, and Brock Lesnar turns Wardlow around. Brock Lesnar into a big back suplex. Brock Lesnar has put this matchup in his favor, has swung momentum around to his side. And Wardlow's just trying to come back here, Wardlow. Using the ropes to get out into the corner. Oh, wait. Wait, Lesnar wraps himself up into the tree of woe. And Wardlow taking in with a big knee. 
Now Wardlow. Trying to fight his way back into it. Xander, here we go. Oh, man, there's the power bomb. bomb. As now Wardlow getting Lesnar back up to his feet. Wardlow pulls Lesnar. Power bombs him again. The Ward power bomb symphony is coming in and Lesnar is in trouble. Wardlow gonna go for a third. No! Brock got the counter. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar cutting the symphony short. F. Five, cover, one, two, Wardlow kicked out. Now Wardlow, trying to find his way back into it. Wardlow going for the clothesline, does not connect him. Wait, Brock. Oh, no, 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 no. Brock has him up on the shoulders, possibly going for another F5. But Wardlow gets out. Get to the ribs now. Wardlow pulls Lesnar in. Lesnar, no, counters the power bomb again. It's been counter for counter now with these two big men countering one another's big moves. Lesnar turns Wardlow around. Another big back suplex taking him down. And now Brock Lesnar, no, no. Oh my God, Xander. Lesnar's gonna fly. Oh, that does not work out for him. It didn't go as bad as the last time he tried to fly in his career, but that was about 20-something years ago now. And now Wardlow grabs onto Lesnar. The symphony picking up where it left off with another power bomb to Brock Lesnar from Wardlow. And wait, Lesnar already picking himself up, though. And now Wardlow, German suplex to Brock Lesnar. Wardlow essentially dishing it out just as well as he was taking it. Lesnar with a kick in the ribs. And now Brock. Oh, here we go again. Second time. F5 to Wardlow. Cover. But a rope break saves Wardlow. They've got, they keep going back and forth and back and forth, Xander. Now, wait a minute. Oh, suplex to Wardlow. Lesnar's not letting go. He's going for another. He is sending Wardlow to Suplex City right now. Lesnar's got him down and Brock Lesnar with Wardlow. Up on his shoulders again. Wardlow countering the F5. Gets out of it again. Wardlow kicks him in the ribs. Pulls him in. Lifts him up. Has him on his shoulders over his head for another power bomb. And now Wardlow has got Lesnar down. Wardlow. Going to the outside, and oh my god, what are you thinking here? We just got it put back together, guys. Come on, guys, please. Mox and Roman already destroyed it 20 minutes ago. Wardlow. Oh, wait a minute, Lesnar. Oh, Wardlow found the counter. And now here comes Brock, but Wardlow, oh my god, throws him to the floor. Into a senton. Wardlow wipes out the beast. And now Wardlow with Brock back up to his feet. Puts him against the announce table. And now Wardlow going up. He's got Wardlow! Lesnar. Wardlow, not my diet soda! Oh no, oh no! Through the table! Lesnar goes through the table! By soda. We'll be alright, we'll get you another one. As now back into the ring he goes Brock Lesnar. And now Wardlow. Wardlow back up on the apron. Lesnar grabs onto him. Brock! Good God! Wardlow's not small by any means, and Lesnar just launched him across the ring. A minute after going through a table. Well, Brock Lesnar's not human. I think we learned that forever and a day ago. As now Brock Lesnar, jawbreaker to Wardlow. Lesnar now, he's got him up. Third time. Lesnar. Lesnar. Third at five to Wardlow. But again, a rope break. As now Brock trying to get Wardlow up. Wardlow counters. Jawbreaker. Wardlow goes for a kick. Brock Lesnar. 
Swings him around, and Brock Lesnar grabs onto him. German sure, suplex. Man. And now, into another. Here we go. And... All expenses paid. Suplex, suplex City. City. And now Brock. Fourth time. I don't think it's ever taken more than three to put someone down. A fourth F5 to Wardlow. You gotta be shitting me. Just pull him towards the center of the ring, Brock! Wardlow with a jawbreaker, though, and Wardlow! I don't know if I've ever seen a man get up from four F5s and then just powerbomb him. Wardlow just powerbombed Lesnar. Wardlow proving he himself is not human. Wardlow with another powerbomb. He's going to keep it going, Xander. And now another one. And the crowd will keep keep telling him to do another. And Wardlow is now dominating. Xander, here we go. I believe this is power bomb number five. Fifth in a row. Oh, and Wardlow's back gives out. And oh. Brock. Brock taking full advantage. And Brock, another German. And now Brock Lesnar doing what he knows best, throwing stiff elbows. Now, wait, Wardlow. Gonna go for another powerbomb. Another one. Oh, wait, Brock. Brock on the counter. Here we go. Fifth time. One more. Away from the rope, please. F5. For God's sake. What the? And now Brock, just another set of Germans. Wardlow's just a bunch of dead weight at this point, man. Ref, ref, I'm no reason with you. Just show mercy. Wardlow's not moving, okay? Like, Wardlow's not fucking moving. And Brock even carrying him towards the referee, essentially saying, does he look like he's moving? Sixth F5. It's over. And Brock finally ends it with the knowledge he could have just walked to the center of the ring, probably to F5. Probably. But Wardlow, nonetheless, gave everything he had through the F5s. But in the end, it's over. Wardlow, proving he himself is not human here tonight against Brock Lesnar. But in the end, Brock Lesnar is one, and Brock Lesnar can rest easy tonight knowing he's probably got a world title match coming his way in a few weeks. But you know Brock, well... Yay! <laughs> you know, I was going to say, Brock's probably going to be watching the main event very closely tonight. I don't think Brock Lesnar knows what television is. So, anyways, Brock's probably going to go home and think about eating cow and shooting cow. <laughs> and he'll come back in three weeks for the, for the Rumble. But now it is time for the women's tag team titles. This matchup was recorded before we came up with the team name. Therefore, the team entrance wasn't a thing yet. Alexa Bliss of the team Live for Bliss coming out first. Alexa Bliss making her way down to the ring. Also, this event is just so massive. You want to come out. You want to have a single entrance for yourself. Yeah, pretty much.
Alexa Bliss. She looks ready to be a champion. She could very well do it tonight along with her partner Liv Morgan. Here she comes now, guys. Liv Morgan. A woman very popular, eternally popular. Absolutely, Liv Morgan making her way down to the ring. Both Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan earlier this season, the SmackDown Women's Champion at different points. In fact, Bliss beat Morgan, and then after they were both beat by Alba Fire and could no longer challenge for the SmackDown Women's title, they decided, all right, well, if we can't win the women's title, let's team up, let's go for those tag titles. Why not? And so out next is going to be one of our AEW teams here tonight. Here comes the team of Athena and Willow Nightingale. A very fiery and explosive tag team. And the, re the other reason Liv for Bliss don't have an entrance is because it would have also been this. But Athena and Willow Nightingale making their way down to the ring. Both have the, uh, the kind of matching hair and gear going on. I like it. The, the pink and blue. It's working. It works. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Nice. Makes them look like a real tag team. Mm -hmm. Take notes, WWE. So Athena and Willow Nightingale, this is a big matchup for these two women tonight. Athena, a former NXT Women's Champion here in the Universe. You can see Willow Nightingale can barely contain her excitement tonight. This is the first time she's competed on a big stage like this in the LS11 Universe. That is Xander, but you can't let that intimidate you. You can't let that psych you out. So Athena and Willow Nightingale make their way down to the ring. Out next. I don't remember. Is it going to be the champions or is it going to be the other challengers? It's going to be the challengers. Look, this game is weird, all right? <laughs> Here they come from AEW, the team of TJ, Ty Mello, and Anna J making their way down to the ring. They were the first team to qualify for this Fatal 4. Remember, it's a Fatal 4-way elimination matchup for the gold. Tay J, Athena and Willow Nightingale, and Liv for Bliss, a big group of challengers here tonight. An AEW team could walk out tonight with the women's tag team titles. And they could, Xander. We can face the complication. And weirder things have happened on this series. Oh, Hello. oh, definitely. Speaking of weirder things, Alexa Bliss standing over there, former Impact Knockouts champion. So Tay J have made their way to the ring, but now it's time to bring out the challengers. Well, it'll be time to bring out the challengers momentarily. I didn't segue that very well. You mean the champions? The champions. Thank you, Ray. Here they come, the champions to the ring, Emma and Dana Brooke. Emma and Dana Brooke making their way down to the ring. This team is the real deal. They've been champions for a couple months now. They won the gold right before we moved to 2K23. In fact, I believe they won it the day before we moved to 2K23. The Raw before 2K23 came out. Somewhere around there. Yeah. So Emma and Dana Brooke making their way down to the ring. This is their first pay-per-view defense of the gold. But they've defended the gold quite a few times, actually, since winning it. They've been great women's tag team champions thus far. Emma's return really took Dana Brooke from... I hate to put it this way, really took Dana Brooke from the bottom of the mountain, possibly somehow even lower than that, all the way to the top as a champion. But Emma and Dana Brooke have made their way to the ring. Great to see them tonight. Xander, like you said, Dana Brooke boosted her profile immensely since Emma came back, and they have music that sounds like a mixture of rave music and strip club music. I'm into it. Um, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, this fatal four-way kicking off. And it's going to be really hard to follow this one. Probably until the first one they will. Hey, Anna, Anna J was covering Willow Nightingale for a second there. This matchup is going to be nothing but chaos. Every woman for herself, really. You're going to see, you know, you might see some miscommunications in here at some point. It's going to be very hard to follow. But, I mean, just looking at the four teams from the outside, is tonight the night where the champions do have the advantage? Can they don't have to 
They do have to be eliminated to walk out of here without the win, or to walk out of here without their titles. Or is this the kind of night where an unlikely challenger could walk out with the gold? Either one is very possible, Xander, when you have six other women in the ring who can all team up on you at any, at any time and get an elimination. There's just cover after cover, submission after submission happening right now. As Dana Brooks taken down Alexa Bliss, Bliss goes into a cover for the one. Also, there's a lot of blonde women in this matchup, all wearing very similarly colored gear. So with the exception of Dana Brooke, I'm going to have a hard time telling them apart because of being because of how many of them there are moving around at once. Dana Brooks just needs to tell apart because she's wearing banana yellow gear. I don't hate it, though. Yeah. It's a nice shade of yellow. It's my favorite shade of yellow. As down goes Willow Nightingale. Oh, my God! Anna Jay just got wiped the hell out. Ty Mello runs around ringside to protect her partner here. Alexa Bliss has got Dana Brooke down in the center of the ring. And Bliss is firing away on her, and everyone is piling up at the top. Willow Nightingale just flattened Ty Mello. There's a cover, but, uh, but Emma was there to save her tag partner. Emma and Dana Brooke teaming up on Alexa Bliss now. Belly to belly from, from Nightingale there. Dana Brooke, though. Oh, massive neck breaker to Alexa Bliss. And now Dana Brooke has got her down, but Bliss kicks out again. This matchup is nothing but pure chaos already. And we still have at least six eliminations, if not seven, to get through. As Dana Brooke takes down Alexa Bliss for the one, two, three. Alexa Bliss is the first one gone. And now Athena has got Emma up. Or Willow Nightingale's got Emma up and takes her down. And Anna Jay picking her back up. Liv Morgan turned around by Dana Brooke. And Dana Brooke taking her down. And now Ty Mello with a body slam to Emma. Dana Brooke rolls down, grabs hold of Willow, swinging her around. Dana Brooke takes down Willow Nightingale. Athena, big kick to Anna J. Liv Morgan has got an uphill battle to go on if she wants to win those titles tonight. And she does, Xander, that she does. It would be smart to eliminate her right now for all teams involved. Absolutely, and Willow was bringing a kendo stick in for all and decided against it, it would seem. As now... Willow grabs onto Liv, throws her into the corner, and there's a big splash into the corner. Willow Nightingale. Oh, wait a minute. Big clothesline from Emma wipes out both Willow and Ty. And now Emma gets caught. Willow Nightingale scoops her up, swinging her around for a sidewalk slam. And now big drop kick connects. And now Dana Brooke suplex taking down Liv Morgan. Or Nightingale grabs onto her and arm drag into a cover now for the one no and now looks like just about everyone's back in the ring once again here as Liv Morgan takes down Dana Brooke Willow Nightingale's got Ty Mello Anna Jay with a German suplex Liv Morgan spills out of the ring she tried to dive but Dana Brooke got out of the way and there's Athena finally getting back into the mix wait a minute a Gory bomb from Anna J to Willow Nightingale into a cover now for the one, two, no. And now TJ is teaming up on Willow Nightingale in the ring. Dana Brooke gets picked up by Liv Morgan. Dana Brooke's not on her back though. Now Anna J going after Dana Brooke. Athena tries to run in, but Ty Mello gets out of the way. Willow Nightingale. Oh, backstabber at Dana Brooke. Big backstabber there, taking her down, and now. Willow knocking back Anna J. Grabs onto her, scoops her up. Oh, and a Emma's got a kendo stick now. Emma leveling the playing field as Dana Brooke rolled back into the ring by Athena. Emma distracts her, though, for a moment. Oh, a big running kick from Ty Mello. Cover on Dana Brooke for the one. No. And now Athena turning over Emma for the cover for the one. Two. Kick out from Emma. And now Ty Mello. Oh, a gory bomb! Taking down Dana Brooke for the cover, for the one, for the two. Dana Brooke's eliminated. Emma is now on her own. But she grabs Willow Nightingale, and Emma has got to fight an uphill battle here for the one. No, tries to take out Willow, who kicks out. Or take out Athena, excuse me, who kicks out. Willow down on the outside is now Ty Mello wiping out Emma. Body slam. From Anna J, who I believe that was Wait. Liv Morgan. Wait a minute, Emma. Emma, Emma. One, no. 
and she takes down Athena now. Emma is trying to do everything in her power to try and even the odds against the other teams. And, and now, if, you're, if you're one of the two teams that remain together, you're feeling pretty good right now. Absolutely, there's a big kendo stick across the back. Oh, and a running kick from Anna J. Anna J for the one, two, no. Ray, the longer this goes, the more and more likely it's looking that AEW's taking these tag team titles. Both AEW teams have all their members, whereas the two WWE teams are both missing a member. But Emma, Minjinoku driver into a cover for the one, two, no! Willa or Athena wiping out Anna J and Willow wiping wiping out Lynn Morgan. And now, back in the ring, Emma has got her boot in the face of Ty Mello. Oh, and Willow! A big stop taking place here. Come right with the angle. Lynn Morgan kicks out. Athena comes off the ropes. Flatliner to Anna J. And now Emma turns her around, scoops up Athena. Minchinoku driver to Athena. And she's got her covered. Willow doesn't see it. One. Two, no, and the ref didn't really see it either. That might have helped Athena stay in it. And now, well, Anna J hit a big kick on Willow. Emma into a cover for the one, two, no. Emma's, Liv. Emma's desperate to eliminate one of the members of these teams. And Liv off oblivion, no, Anna J kicked out. Neckbreaker from Emma. If I were Emma and Liv Morgan, I would try and team up at least, since you're both fighting the odds right now. But I'm not either of them. But Luke Morgan now grabs on Anna J, knee, taking her down with a jawbreaker. And Emma's got a chair in hand. Emma cracks the chair over the head of Liv Morgan. And again, as Athena and Willow double teaming Ty Mello on the outside. Anna J knocked back. Emma grabs onto her now. And Emma sends her off the ropes. They collide now. And Emma sidestep. But Anna J caught her now. And Anna J with the. With the last remaining champion, knee into the back and on the outside. Athena throwing Ty Mello back in the ring. Wait a minute, Emma caught Anna Jay. Two. Anna Jay's eliminated. Anna Jay got caught there. And now Emma taking down Ty Mello. So Athena and Willow Nightingale now have the advantage. And Emma. Oh, hitting. I would take out Athena if I was Emma right now. I'd say Athena's the biggest threat in the match for you. And now Emma now covering Athena off those chair shots. No. And Emma's got Athena down. Emma in the ground and pound. Has her down. And now Emma stomping away. Kicks her down again. Athena, there's a kick of her own. Rolling forearm connects. And now Athena stalking her, but Emma rolls out of the bottom rope. The Morgan just ate a face, face full of rain post. Absolutely. There's a right hook connect. And now Emma going up to the top rope, but Athena's right there. Athena with her right hook. Emma countered. But here comes Willow. Emma with a missile drop kick to Athena, but Willow Nightingale's right there. And Willow. Oh, dropping Emma. Oh, but Emma catches Willow. Same way she got Anna J. One. No. And now Liv Morgan back in the ring. And Liv looks like she's going to even the odds for Emma for just a moment by taking down Athena. And now Willow grabs on to her, scoops Emma up on her shoulders. Someone drop from Willow Nightingale. Oh, big clothesline there. To Willow Nightingale. And now Willow. Oh, pounces on Ty Mello. The ring is empty, I think, for the first time in a while, this matchup. Wait a minute. Michinoku. Oh, the king out again by Nightingale. Liv Morgan now fighting with Emma again. Hurricane Rana from Liv Morgan. Now, 
Warrior has Mellow. And now, oh, Bulldog from Liv. And now Liv Morgan. Whoa, well, I don't know why she's getting out of the ring. She had everyone right where she wanted her. She gets another kendo stick, I guess. As Athena, well, now Emma just falls out of the ring. Athena was distracted. Willow's got a chair. Athena dives out onto Emma. Northern Lights from Ty to Liv. And Willow and Athena going to work here. Willow and Athena just working over Emma here two on one. But Emma managing to knock down Athena. Ty Mello takes down Liv or takes down Willow. And now Emma's just watching on as Liv has got a kendo stick in hand. Now, oh, big Minchinogu again. The Minchinogu to Athena for the two. No, Athena still kicking out. A well with a big drop kick to Liv Morgan. And now Emma's still alone in the ring. But here comes Liv, here comes Athena, here comes Willow. Emma's knocked Will Athena into the ropes now, and Emma. Choking her out, has her in the ropes here. Emma coming off the ropes. Willow with a power bomb for the one, two, three. Liv Morgan's gone. Live for Bliss will not be champions. Wait a minute. Willow rolled through by Emma. Emma for the one, two, no. And Willow Nightingale now clobbering. Tied Mellow with a clothesline. And now it's Emma in a major uphill battle. Emma and Ty Mello are alone. Athena and Willow Nightingale have two single opponents to wipe out. One each at the moment. Oh, Emma rolls Athena through. One, two, no. If Emma doesn't win here, she will. the titles will go to AEW. Absolutely. That's a guaranteed AEW win if Emma's eliminated. Emma, whoa, caught Athena mid-Hurricane Rana. And power bombs are on that chair. Emma now into a cover. Emma for the one, two, no. And look at the outside. Willow is absolutely dominating Ty Mello right now. And Emma with a chair in hand. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hits it over the face of Athena. As Athena now kicking Ty Mello, trying to get her off of, off of Willow. And there's a side rushing leg sweep taking her down. And now Athena turning over Ty Mello. Athena goes for a knee strike. Ty out of the way. Ty with a running kick knocking her down. And now here comes Emma. Oh, look at Willow Nightingale. Or Ty Mello. I don't think she cares. Oh, Steve Four from Athena. And now throwing her across the ring here. Big German suplex to Emma from, from Willow Nightingale. And the chair is being applied from Athena. Willow and Athena realize the, the great position they're in here. As now, oh, went for a senton. And now, Emma, if I, if I were Emma and Ty, I definitely wouldn't be focusing on each other right now. Because that's exactly what Willow and Athena would want as now... Willow, whoa, has a hold of Emma. Why would they focus on each other? It's a tag. Right? Emma and Ty shouldn't focus on one another when Athena and Willow are at full power, but Emma just nailed the Minchinoku driver. No! Emma, honey, it might be time to find a new finish. It's no one's staying down for the three on that one right now, it seems. Yeah. I think Athena's kicked out of at least four of them. Oh, but now, small package. One, two, no. And now Willow grabs her and Willow, neck breaker. Into a cover. Willow for the gold. One, two, no. And Ty Mello. Gory bombs to Athena. And Willow Nightingale. Suplex. Willow Nightingale has got Ty Mello down. It's two on one for Ty right now. A trifecta, the three amigos of suplexes. And now Emma rolls Willow through. Oh, Emma's got a handful of tights. One, two, three. And just like that, the playing field's level. 
She's got Athena now. She's doing the same to Athena. Athena. One, two, three. Oh. And Ty Mello now forearm. You just seen the dominant force in this match has been neutralized in a matter of seconds. Emma put all her weight into those covers and held the tights as hard as she could. And now Ty Mello with Emma back up to her feet. Ty whips up Emma. Ty Mello with a gory bomb. Cover. One, two, no! And now Ty Mello getting Emma back up to her feet. Emma with a jawbreaker. And Emma now scoops her up. There's the Minchinoku driver. Cover on Ty for the one, two, three. Somehow Emma just retained. Somehow. I don't really know how, but she did it. Is, it, is it now you trying to mention that Xander has been a diehard Emma fan from the time I've known him? Probably a good time to mention it. Emma and Dana Brooke gonna keep the women's tag team titles tonight. If you're Athena and Willow Nightingale, you gotta be pissed. You were dominating, it was two on one, and then you both got rolled up in a matter of 20 seconds. And Dana Brooke just giving Emma the ring herself to celebrate with the women's tag titles. Massive win there for Emma tonight. Oh, this is going to be good, though. Oh, this one's going to be good. It's time for a champion versus champion match. No titles are on the line. Champion versus champion, though. That it is, Xander. That it is. And here comes the AEW International Champion, Buddy Matthews. Quite a season for Buddy Matthews thus far, hasn't it been, Xander? Oh, absolutely it has been. Starting off the season, going through a crisis of confidence, getting, getting terrified just of the mention of the name Malachi Black. But we're finally taking out his revenge and beating Malachi Black for the second time ever to win that international championship. And now Buddy Matthews, he's, he's been reunited with Seth Rollins a few times. They've teamed up a couple of times lately. But now, of course, after tonight, that's all over because AEW and WWE go their separate ways for at least another year again after tonight, or after tomorrow, I suppose. Yeah. Since this is a two-night show. It's our first ever two-night show. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. First ever two-night show, guys. We're very excited to do it. We're going to be doing it again later on this year for WrestleMania. Hooray! Absolutely. But that's just because we don't want another four-hour WrestleMania. Yeah. Woo-hoo! So Buddy Matthews making his way down to the ring. The international champion, he wanted this fight. He called out Gunther for this fight. And now Buddy Matthews has made his way down to the ring. The international champion. Buddy Matthews said he ain't was. He didn't view Gunther as the great champion everyone believes he is. He believes he is the true workhorse champion of LS11 Universe. And here comes Gunther. Here he comes, Der General, the Intercontinental Champion. See, I'm making use of that German minor I got in college like a solid week ago now for the people watching this at home. Gunther making his way down to the ring. Gunther. Of course, guys, one of the most dominant Intercontinental Champions we've seen. Absolutely. Gunther, at this point, I believe now, is the third longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in LS11 Universe. And given that he's barely just cracked 100 days, that says more about my booking than anything. So Gunther making his way down to the ring. Gunther the ring general. One of them ready for action here tonight. The dude looks in better shape than he's ever been and tonight. He's, he's looking to dominate his way to a victory. This matchup, it may not be big trucks and little trucks, 
but it's going to be hard hitting like actual trucks. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's on. And Buddy Matthews. Whoa, ran in for the knee strike. Gunther firing away. Stiff strikes now. Buddy Matthews firing away on now. Stiff strikes. Gunther answering back. Gunther with a chop. Oh. And now Buddy grabbing onto him. Buddy Matthews with a forearm strike taking him down. Buddy now grabs onto him into another forearm. Gunther's down. Buddy Matthews. Oh, Gunther kicks out the knee. Buddy Matthews staggering. Gunther, big drop kick into the corner. For a leg drop, Buddy Matthews got out of the way now. And Gunther's down. Buddy Matthews kicking him in the head repeatedly here. He's got him down. Gunther goes down. And now Buddy getting him back up to his feet here. Buddy Matthews firing away on him. Buddy Matthews shoves him back. And Matthews with Making Gunther. Big shots going for the knee. Oh, does not connect them to Gunther. Gunther going for the big... Going for the big knee drop that does not connect. Now Matthews throwing off the ropes and oh to the outside. And now you see what the other match I recorded before fixing the uh, the LED board was. And now Buddy Matthews waiting for Gunther to get up. Buddy Matthews oh tries to fly Gunther out of the way. Oh big drop kick there to Buddy Matthews. And now Buddy Matthews being chopped repeatedly. By Gunther. And oh, sitting out on the leg of Matthews is Gunther. And Gunther, oh, the, the knee getting hit there by, oh, by Buddy Matthews. Matthews throws Gunther. These two men just trying to destroy one another right now. As Matthews, referee the count of six. Oh, went for a meteor off the apron. Gunther out of the way. Gunther, oh my god. Launches him with a German suplex. Referee the count of eight. Is this match going to count out this quickly? Matthew's not going to let it happen. Back up on the top rope. He's technically back in the ring. And now he's definitely back in the ring. As Gunther is calling Buddy Matthews back up to his feet. Gunther's looking to end it. And Gunther, no. Countered by Buddy. Buddy Matthews into a forearm. And another, and Matthews ducks the clothesline. Overhead kick taking him down. And running drop kick. And now Matthews connecting with big shots on Gunther. Gunther covering up, but Gunther goes down. Matthews floors him now. Buddy Matthews kicks him in the ribs, kicks him in the head, stomp the foot. B trigger. Down goes Gunther. Buddy Matthews has got him down, and Buddy Matthews has the leg kicked out. Gunther. Oh! Knife, edge, chop! Matthews is folding like an accordion from those chops. And now Gunther kicking him in the ribs. Here we go. Pulls him in. Whoa, Matthews up on the shoulders. Buddy Matthews fires back with shots to the head. He kicks Gunther in the ribs now, and Matthews. They want to put him down with Murphy's Law. Into a cover. One, two, no. Kick out from Gunther. Went for a double axe handle. Gunther out of the way. And now Buddy Matthews with a right hook across the head, taking him down. Matthews now getting Gunther back up to his feet. Discus blows by attempt. Gunther with a kick in the ribs. Now Gunther scoops him up. Buddy Matthews thrown in the corner, hung up by Gunther. And now Gunther hits the ropes. Gunther, knee to the face of Buddy Matthews, taking him down. And Gunther now, as Buddy Matthews grabs him, scoops him up, and Gunther, sidewalk slam, takes him down. Into a cover, there's the two, kick out from the international champion. It's international meets intercontinental right now at Forbidden Wars. There's a leg drop from Gunther. Oh, tried to sit out across and Matthews out of the way. The longer this goes, who does this kind of matchup favor more? You gotta wonder. Poison Rana from Matthews. Poison Rana connects from Matthews there. And big elbows to Gunther. Gunther goes down. Buddy Matthews rolls him through. Super kick connects. There's a running drop kick knocking him down. Gunther's got Buddy Matthews down. Gunther. 
Pitch back up does Matthews. Oh, went for, went for another running drop kick. Gunther. No, there's the beat trigger. Matthews finally got him with one. Gunther rolling out of the way now, and Gunther tries to grab him. Buddy Matthews grabs him from behind, and Matthews, another poison run that connects from Buddy. And now Buddy up to the top rope. Gunther. Oh, dodges the missile drop kick. Grabs on to Buddy Matthews, pulls him in. Neck breaker connects. And now Buddy Matthews. Off the ropes. Hey, hey, here. Gunther. Ooh. Does not connect there. Buddy Matthews saving himself there. And Buddy Matthews now rolling up Gunther. Rolls him through. Cover. One. Two. No. And now Matthews. With a discus close line taken down Gunther. And Buddy Matthews. Oh, Springboard does not connect. Oh. Win for the cannonball sends on Gunther out of the way. Gunther. Drop kicked in the back. Matthews is in the ropes now. And Gunther. What is the Intercontinental Champion thing in here? He pulls him out of the ropes and Gunther needed a head of Buddy Matthews. Went to try and sit across and Matthews out of the way. Or, that's right, Matthews out of the way. Now Matthews. Back the way, kicks him in the ribs, kicks him again. Stops the foot. Right back into the beat trigger. Down goes Gunther again. And now Buddy Matthews has got him down. Matthews punches him in the face. Matthews has got Gunther down now and Gunther... Look out, Buddy Matthews. Looking at it here, Matthews. Here we go. Turns it down. Into the cover. Two. Nearly had it there, Xander. Nearly got him. And now Matthews. Uh oh, drop. Leg drop does not connect, though. Gunther whoops the head out. Oh, big chop across the back and kicking him down. And a big knee across the head. Oh, and splashing off across the gut. And oh, Gunther slams him down. And now Gunther has got Buddy Matthews down. Gunther. Going out of the ring and death ring general. Oh dear God. Oh God. He tries to fly Matthews out of the way. Big kick now from Buddy taking him down. And now Buddy Matthews has got him down. Buddy kicks him in the ribs. Third time could do it. Murphy's Law. Cover on Gunther. One, two. No! Buddy Matthews has got him down now, and Matthews went for the cannonball again. Gunther out of the way. Buddy Matthews is his best shot so many times. And now Gunther. Matthews rolling out of the way of Gunther. And Gunther trying to pull him back into the ring. And Buddy Matthews trying to pull on the legs. Gunther kicks him out, though. But, oh my god, here we go. Power bomb. One, two, no! And now Gunther has hit his best shot. And Gunther is up. Oh my god, Gunther's man. He, oh, he went for it. Matthews out of the way. Went for the B trigger. Booted in the face by Gunther. And now Gunther's got him down. Gunther with Buddy Matthews. Gunther grabs on the jump here. Oh lord. German suplex. Not the distance he got on that Xander. Absolutely wiped him out. And now, big German again. And then Buddy Matthews pulling himself up. Only a neck breaker from Gunther again. Gunther's got him down now, and Gunther getting Buddy Matthews back to his feet. Gunther kicks him in the ribs, pulls him in one more time. Oh, wait a minute. He's carrying him around the ring. He's got him in position, but Buddy Matthews 
fights out of the power bomb. Close lines him out of the ring. Oh, and now, buddy, he's hit the ropes, buddy Matthews. Oh, Gunther sidestepped. Gunther sidestepping that mass, that suicide dive. And oh, kick to the back. He's got Buddy Matthews now, and Gunther sends him back in the ring. Gunther. Referee at the count of three. Back into the ring now is Buddy Matthews and Gunther. He's telling Buddy Matthews to get up. What the hell is he thinking? Gunther. He's grabbing him. Headbutt! Floor secret no more, and Gunther is up to the top rope. Gunther's gonna fly. That's how he beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. One, two, three. Gunther defeats Buddy Matthews here tonight. The Intercontinental beats the International. Pretty much the same thing, though. Either way, Gunther with the victory. The AEW International Champion comes up short against the WWE Intercontinental Champion, but damn it, did Buddy Matthews fight his heart out tonight. He tried his damnedest, he did everything in his power to win, but Gunther is just that damn good, and with the Royal Rumble three weeks away, we might be looking at the favorite to win it. That we, that need, that, that need maybe so, Xander. But here we go, another big tag team match. I'm sorry, were the last few matches too technical for you? Do you want fucking spot fests? Here you go. Here come the Usos. This matchup is going to be a spot fest, Ray. Don't look at me like that. You know it is. Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, making their way down to the ring. Xander, so many matches and I have been over the top with that. But we're... I want this to be in perspective for everybody, just real quick, while we're saying that. We are almost an hour and a half into this show. This is only the fifth match! Yeah. Xander, if ever, people ever say we jumped the shark, I feel like this moment will be designated. <laughs> this show, you mean? Yes. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> The show where the first four, the first three matches are all 15 plus minute, te four four matches, yeah, are 15 plus minute technical matches, yeah. Yeah. All of them was hardcore, but either way, here come the AEW World Tag Team Champions, the Lucha Bros, Ray Phoenix, Pentel, Zero Miedo. The Lucha Bros are here. They've been the AEW Tag Team Champions now since Full Gear, where they beat twice in a century. Yep. And now a night twice, or excuse me, the Lucha Bros making their way down to the ring. The best tag team in AEW. And they want to challenge the other, the other brother duo in wrestling today that seems to be defining tag team wrestling. And Jimmy and Jay the Usos. The Lucha Bros have made their way down to the ring. The AEW World Tag Team Champions are here. This matchup not for the AEW World Tag Team titles. It is Jay and Phoenix starting it off. Phoenix starts it off with a Hurricane Rana taking down Jay. And now Ray Phoenix. Close line from Jay. Jay Uso now grabs onto him and Jay pulls him in. Forearm strike taking him down. Jay has got Phoenix down, goes for a kick. The Usos, when asked why they didn't have the, why this matchup is non-title, they said they don't give a damn about the AEW tag team titles. They just want to beat the Lucha Bros and prove they're the best tag team in the world right now. As Ray Phoenix dives out on that Jay Uso. And now Jay is back to his feet. Phoenix went for a kick. Jay out of the way, and Jay Uso with a headbutt taking him down. He's got Ray Phoenix down. Jay Uso. Close line from Phoenix. Ever at the count of three here, and Jimmy takes out the leg of Ray Phoenix. Jimmy Uso now. Whoa, Jay takes a cheap shot on Penta. Jay up to the top rope now, and Jay Uso 
Got to look to fly, but instead Phoenix gets off the top, gets him off the top rope. Jay grabs onto him, and Jay with Ray Phoenix taking him towards the corner. Head first into the turnbuckle. Tag is made to Jimmy. And now the Usos, what are they thinking here? Oh, oh no. Tying up Ray Phoenix. They got him by the leg. Oh my God. Splashing the leg with all the weight of Jimmy Uso there. And now Jimmy is feeling fire up here, but Ray Phoenix staggering back to his feet. Goes for a drop kick. Jimmy knocking him back. Jimmy, forearm strike connects, taking him down. Ray Phoenix is down. And now Phoenix trying to crawl towards his brother. And the Usos, oh, they both punch him at the same time. Sandwiched him with that punch. And Ray Phoenix knocks him back. Ray Phoenix, drop kick connects. And now Phoenix into crossbody, taking him down. Now Ray Phoenix, here we go. Crossbody to the outside. Ray Phoenix is feeling fired up now, Ray. That he is, Xander. Ray Phoenix continuing to hit the Uso here. Throws him back into the ring. Jimmy sent back into the ring. Ray Phoenix, springboard. Frog splash across the back, taking him down. And now getting him back to his feet. Ray Phoenix with Jimmy by the back of the head. Throws him into the corner. And now tag is made. Penta's in. And the Lucha Bros now, here we go. Double axe handle with the arm of Jimmy. Drop kick attempt from Penta, but Jimmy staggered out of the way. There's a drop kick now from Penta. He's got him down. Senton taking down Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy tagging Jay. Jay is in, here we go. There's a kick now, Penta firing away on, goes for a kick. Jimmy knocking him back. Jimmy pops him up, takes him down with a Samoan drop. Jay Uso's in, Jay looking at it now, Jay. Uso splash attempt, Penta out of the way. Penta now gets chopped. Jay, or Jay, excuse me, throwing him off the ropes. Power slam, taking him down. And Penta catches him now. Penta, small package on Jay for the one. No. And now Penta has got him down. Penta, springboard, drop kick, taking down Jay Uso. Up to the top rope now, and Jay, right hook, takes him down. Tag is made now. Jimmy Uso's back in. A little shot and a kick now. Penta firing away. Penta goes for a kick. Jimmy throwing him off the ropes. Jimmy Uso kicks him in the ribs. Pops up into an uppercut. Into a cover now again. Jay or Jimmy one. No kick out from Penta. Penta slowly back to his feet. Penta staggering Jimmy. to his feet. Jimmy Simo and drop. Into a cover for the one, two. Phoenix makes the save. Phoenix came flying in to save him there. And Phoenix, oh wait, Penta. You get hit again here, but he fights Jimmy off. Now Penta, come off the ropes. Crossbody taking him down Jimmy, or takes down Jimmy. Yes, one, two, no. And now Penta getting Jimmy back to his feet and Penta with Jimmy into the corner. Tag is made to Phoenix and the Lucha Bros. What are they thinking here? Another double team to Jimmy Uso and Phoenix. Grabs on the Jimmy, punches him in the head, taking him down. Jimmy Uso going down. Penta, or Phoenix, excuse me, springboards into a moonsault. And Phoenix has got him down. Phoenix now picking Jimmy back to his feet. Kicks him in the ribs. And now there's a slap to the face. Goes for a super kick. Phoenix out of the way. Phoenix. Pulls him in, Phoenix, gets him up, and Brain Buster from Ray Phoenix takes him down. And Phoenix now going up to the top rope. What is Phoenix thinking here? Jimmy's really close to those ropes, but Phoenix, 450 splash. Into the cover, one. Oh. Jay was right there for the save, but Penta wiped out Jay Uso. And the Lucha Bros, what are they both thinking here? Penta. Wiping out Jey Uso. Phoenix. Oh, a big splash by Penta. Phoenix with a falcon arrow to Jimmy. No. Near fall there for the Luchas. Now Ray Phoenix kid, kicking Jimmy. Keeping the offense going. Wait, another big Samoan drop from Jimmy. And Jimmy Uso. Jimmy throws him off the ropes. Jimmy Uso. No, near the ribs from Phoenix. 
Now Ray Phoenix tries to run on Jimmy Uso. Goes for the clothesline. And now Phoenix goes for the ropes, but Jimmy out of the way. And now Jimmy Uso grabs onto him. Jimmy pulls him in, grabs Phoenix, lifts him up, and suplexes him down. Now Jimmy. Oh, poked to the eyes from Phoenix. Poked yeah. to the eyes there. Now Jimmy Uso. Big ripcord clothesline into the cover. One. Can, oh, and Penta breaking the cover there. And now Jimmy. Going to take up Ray Phoenix. Oh, and slamming him down there. And now take. Oh, taking Penta out as well. Penta goes down. Jimmy Uso now has got Ray Phoenix down as well. And. Jimmy, oh, had him up, countered. Ray Phoenix taking down Jimmy Uso. And now Phoenix up on the apron. Ray Phoenix, springboard. Moonsault across the back of Jimmy. Back in the ring now, Phoenix tags in Penta. Ray Phoenix gets out on the apron. Goes outside of the ring. Penta, well, it looked like he was going to try to fly. Penta! Flies and hits Phoenix in the back. DDT from Phoenix to Jimmy. And Penta now turning Jimmy Uso over. Penta kicks him in the ribs. The Lucha Bros are mugging Jimmy Uso right now. Now the Lucha's... Oh, throwing Jimmy Uso into the, into the post there. Oh, right, Phoenix all the way across the back. Kick to that now. Jimmy is down. Penta back into the ring. Over at the count of five. Penta grabs hold of Jay and Penta with Jay out on the apron. Back body drop. The referee's going to have to restart the count now that Penta's back in the ring. And Phoenix is just standing over Jimmy. Jimmy Uso trying to get back to his feet and Ray Phoenix gets back on the apron. Penta grabs onto him. Penta El Zelonieto with Jimmy Uso. Sends him back in the ring. And Penta. Springboard. Oh, went for a splash. Jimmy out of the way. And now Jimmy getting him back up to his feet. Jimmy Uso grabs onto him. Takes him down with a big neck breaker. And now Jimmy to the top rope. Jimmy Uso with the Uso splash for the one, two, no. Big DDT from Jay. Jay DDT Phoenix. Penta's down. Jimmy. Went for another one. Penta hits the ropes. Sling blade. Down goes Jay. And now Penta springboard. Went for the cannonball. Jimmy out of the way now. And Jimmy grabbing on to him, getting him back to his feet. Jimmy. Throw right hook. Kicked in the knee. Jimmy gets caught. Penta, here we go. Fear factor. Cover! Another cover here. Jay One, trying to get in the ring. Two, three. The Lucha Bros defeat the Usos. The Lucha Bros get the win. The Usos go down. The Lucha Bros prove themselves to be the better tag team tonight. The better brothers tonight. And prove why they are the AEW World Tag Team Champion. A massive, massive victory there for the Lucha Bros, cementing themselves as one of, if not the best team in the world right now. The Lucha Bros celebrating that win. The AEW World Tag Team Champions with a massive victory on that one. Massive victory, as you said, Xander. What lies is... What lies ahead for the AEW Tag Team Division Beyond Forbidden War? We'll have to wait and see. But for now, on, we'll move on to six-man tag team action. God help us. I recorded this matchup, so trust me when I say God help us. Here comes the Elite, though. Three members of the Elite, at least. The Hung Bucks are here. Hangman Adam Page. Matt and Nick Jackson, the Hung Bucks, are here. The Elite is in the house. Uh, they are, Xander, that they are. And look, and they look more ready to go than ever. Absolutely, the time for games is over for them. 
The last couple weeks on SmackDown, Hangman Page has gone to war with uh, has gone to war with the New Day in singles matches. But but tonight it's going to be six man action to find out who's the be who's the better of the two six man teams. That's been iconic for years. Absolutely. Matt and Nick look beyond ready here themselves. This is going to be a big one, folks. This is going to be huge. So, the Elite make their way to the ring. The leader of the Elite, Kenny Omega, not here with them tonight because Kenny Omega is in Chicago right now getting ready for tomorrow, getting ready for Forbidden War Night 2 in that big fatal four-way match in the main event of the, of the show. But the Elite have made their way to the ring. And now... Do you feel the power, Ray? Oh, I do, Tinder. The power of positivity is in the arena tonight. The new day dawns on the Forbidden War. And they do, Tinder, that they do the new day. Possibly, I'd say one of the most over things of the last 10 years. Absolutely. One of the greatest teams in WWE history. I might even say the best three-man group in WWE history. I might I might have to say it. They've been together for almost ten years now. The New Day make their way to the ring. Kofi Kingston, Big E, Xavier Woods. Just when you think they, they, they have to have run out of things to sell by now. But then they find new things to do. Yeah. Every time. I thought they were running out of things at cereal. And that was eight years ago. There were pancakes, there was ice cream. Still don't really know where the pancakes came from. I think Big E just likes pancakes. I can't blame them, they're pretty good. No. But Big E and Xavier... Who doesn't like a big stack of American flapjacks? Absolutely, but the New Day have had their battles with the Elite over these last few weeks. Kofi taking on Kenny Omega recently, Hangman Page fighting both Big E and Xavier. And it is Big E and Hangman going head-to-head. -head. If you've watched over the last few weeks, you've heard Big E referring to the Elite as Kenny Omega and Hangman Beta. And so now tonight, Big E looking to back up his claims after Hangman beat him two weeks ago on SmackDown. And now Hangman goes for a forearm strike. Big E scoops him up. Big E taking him up here. Military press reverse by Hangman Adam Page into a DDT. And now, oh, big shoulder march ever Big E into the cover. One kick out by Adam Page. Hangman Page got the shoulders up now and Big E. Hangman Page is firing away on him. Hangman knocking him back now and Hangman with Big E off the ropes. Ducks him. Hangman Page now coming in. Close blind taking down Big E. Big E rolls out of the ring and Big E tag is made from Hangman Page. Nick Jackson now in the match. Matt with a punch. Hangman with a shot. Nick with a knee to the ribs. And now, tag is made right back to Hangman. And now, whoa, the Elite with a shout out to some former members of the group. Magic Killer taking down Big E. Hangman slides into a cover for the one. No. Until this was done in exhibition before, uh, before the new update. Double axe handle from Hangman Page to Big E. And now Hangman Page getting Big E back up to his feet. Hangman Page, forearm strike. Big E staggering back. He's got to hold him down. Big E showing off the power. Rams Hangman in the corner. Throws him across the ring. And Big E taking him down. Tag is made to Kofi. Now Kofi Kingston runs in. Hangman went for Big E. But Kofi goes for a springboard. Kofi catches Hangman Page. And Kofi Kingston turning it around here. It's been very back and forth so far. There's Kofi Kingston sending Hangman off the ropes. Arm drag taking him down. And Kofi, putting Hangman here, check out. It's crazy to think about it like this, Ray, but the Elite and the New Day, this has been a war that's been brewing for six 
years, almost seven years now. Between, Dead Eye! Dead Eye for Hangman. I'll get back to my point in a minute here as Xavier Woods makes it say, this feud's been brewing for almost seven years. It's happened on Twitter, Instagram, hell. Kenny and the Bucks even fought the New Day in Street Fighter at Comic-Con one year. But now... Now the this place it did take place was tout. It's true. Despite Brian Danielson's best efforts to revive that in 2017 or something like that. But now... Oh! Stun Gun taking down Nick Jackson. Or Matt Jackson, excuse me, as Kofi. He's getting fired. Super kick! There it is! There's the first one. Start the counter, folks. But the one place the New Day and the Elite had yet to meet before tonight. The ring. Kofi with a stomp to the chest of Nick. Off the ropes, Kofi. Gonna hit the boom drop to Matt. I had it right the first time. It's Matt, not Nick. Small package now from Matt. Cover on Kofi. For the one. No. And now Matt Jackson stomping away. Kicks him in the ribs. Kofi rolls back to his feet. Kofi rolls through and Kofi. DDT connect. Kofi now looking at the elite. Kofi grabs on to Nick. Stuns Nick into the ropes. Turns his attention to Hangman. Does the same to Hangman. Here comes Matt Jackson. Matt being kicked back though. Kofi runs in. Kicks him in the ribs. Taking him down. And now Kofi has got Matt down. Turns him over with a kick. And Matt Jackson. No. Matt Jackson rolled out of the way of Kofi's kick there. And now Matt. Staggering back to his feet, Matt Jackson springboard. Kick to the face of Kofi Kingston, taking him down. Tag is made to Big E, tag is made to Nick Jackson. Here we go. Big E runs him through. And now Big E. Right hook now from Matt. Or from Nick, and now Nick. He's knocked him back, Big E kicks him in the ribs. Punched in the back now from Big E. And Big E finally tagging the last man that seemed to be in. Xavier Woods. Woods, DDT. Turning him over now, Xavier Woods for the one, no. And now, look at that, there's Matt in the ring. Matt trying to save his brother, but Xavier and Big E cutting him off. Counter now, Matt, or Nick, with a kick to the face of Xavier Woods into a cover for the one, two, no. That's why they call Xavier Woods the heart and soul of the New Day. And now, off the ropes, over the top, out to the floor goes Xavier. Kofi and Nick, Kofi and Matt going at it. Nick dives out on the Kingston. Oh, and a spear from Matt to Xavier. The Young Bucks are on top now. Oh, Super Kick does not connect to Kofi, though. Spinning him around, Kofi Kingston. Oh, Adam Page coming in with the with the buck shot. And a suicide dive. And Big E, look at this, he's got Adam Page. Big E with, or excuse me, no, Big E had one of the Jacksons, the, the black and white tights got me there. Xavier Woods is recovering the ring from the buck shot. I don't even know who's legal at this point. I think it's. I think it's Nick Jackson. And now, Matthew Xavier and Nick. Neck breaker from Xavier. And now Xavier Woods grabs onto him, hits the ropes. Xavier, no, a drop to hold. And kicked in the back of the leg now. And now Nick grabs onto Woods. And Nick Jackson, surfboard stretches in, trying to take down Woods. He's got him down. Big E runs in. Taking him down. Double axe handle. Chuck block. And now takes out Kofi as well. I've already the count of one now. And now, oh, there's a kick from Nick to Big E. Tag is made to Matt. Remember, Xavier's still legal. Matt tries to dive, but Xavier gets out of the way. Now Xavier Woods grabs hold of him and Woods throws him back in the ring. It's been a very heated, high-paced matchup tonight. As now Nick gets off the apron and Woods sends him into the steps. 
Xavier Woods springs back into the ring. Xavier Woods now. He's got him down, and Xavier Woods. Whoa! Looked like he was going for a knee in the back. Then someone to Adam Cole's last shot. Went for the super kick, didn't it? Did Matt Jackson. He shoved back down. Matt Jackson runs towards the corner. Tag is made. Hangman's in. And now Woods. No! Stomped by Matt for trying to get involved. Big E and Kofi both taken out by Hangman. Hangman out of the ring now, and Hangman. Right hook to Woods, Hangman Page, springboard, drop kick. Now Hangman Page takes him up here. Throws Xavier to the outside. Out of the ring goes Xavier, and now dives out on the Big E. These six men have been flying all over the place tonight, taking each other out left and right with big move after big move in this high-paced trios matchup. As now Hangman goes after Kofi, but Xavier catches him. Xavier throws him back into the ring. And now Hangman Page staring at New Day. Whoa, Kofi got him on the knee strike. That's what you get for trying to take another cheap shot if your name's Woods. And, or if your name's Hangman. And now Woods catches Hangman. Xavier Woods. Backwoods. One. No, it's saved by Matt Jackson. Big E now. Big E and Xavier going after Matt Jackson. Who rolls out of the way. And now... Big right hook there from Xavier Woods. There's a neck breaker from Hangman Page. Hangman Page now to the top rope. Hangman. Oh, goes for the elbow. Kofi's in now. Kofi Kingston in the mix now. Kofi Kingston. The clothesline there is not connected. Now we... Xavier Woods. Oh, picking him up and taking him down. Now Big E is back in. Big E. Oh, avenging Xavier Woods there with a massive lariat. Hangman now rolls Big E through into a cover for the one, two. No. A kick out there. No. Hangman knocks back Big E and Hangman Page. Here we go. Buckshot. Remember, this was recorded before they added a new buckshot. One. Two, Kofi with the save. And now Matt with a clothesline wipes out Kofi. And now Hangman getting Big E back up to his feet. They swap sides here. Matt takes out Big E. Hangman takes out Kofi. Nick gets in the ring. Xavier's down. The Bucks and, and, and Hangman. Oh, spring to the outside from Nick. Matt picks up Big E. Uppercut taking him down now. And Hangman back into the ring. The entire New Day is down. And now back in the ring goes Big E and now Hangman Page. Getting Big E back up to his feet. Hangman went for a shot. Big E ducks now and Big E. Belly to belly. Into a cover now on Hangman. For the one. For the two. No. Now Big E goes for a kick. Hangman counters. Hangman's caught him. Here we go. A strength takes it. Big E up for a dead eye. Cover. One. No. And now Nick coming in, going after Woods, but Woods wipes out Nick Jackson. Matt Jackson's tagged back in. Here comes Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson taking a second, I think, taking inventory. Oh, diving on the outside does not connect there. Woods got out of the way. And Woods with a gut check to Nick. And Big E coming out of the ring now. Everyone in the pool. Down goes Xavier Woods, thanks to Hangman. Nick back up on the apron. Here comes Kofi. Kofi now caught by Hangman. Hangman Page has got Kofi up now, and Kofi. On the outside, Deadeye. The Deadeye connects here. Big E's now trying to get up here. And now, wait, Matt Jackson's following Big E. The Jackson brothers, I think, are honing in on Big E. Absolutely, it seems they are. They're double teaming him up on the ramp. Big E's got to fight his way out of this. Back in the ring go Nick and Big E breaking the referee's count. Oh! Big E reached out for the tag to Woods. And out of the ring goes Big E. But the Jacksons were able to stop Woods from being able to make the tag. Even though Woods got a knee strike in, Big E couldn't get his hand there. And there's a splash. Look at this now. Matt has got Kofi and Matt... Backstabber. Oh, 
Oh! Big E is playing it there on the outside. Oh, dive over the top. Both that counts. Now Big E back into the ring. Big E's back in, as is Nick Jackson. And Nick Jackson has got Big E in a sharpshooter. But Nick, Nick is not the legal man. Matt is. But the Bucks wiping out Xavier Woods. Super kick. And Big E's got a hold of Nick Jackson. Turnabout's fair play. Down goes Kofi. Turns him around. Super kick to Kofi. Referee restarting the count now. Tag is made to Hangman Adam Page and Big E surveying the damage to his boys. As there's a drop kick to Woods. Big E now trying to get back in the ring. Hangman out on the apron. Buck Buck shot. shot! Got him for a third. Cover. One. Two. Kofi with the last second save. And there's a close one from Hangman. And he takes out Xavier. And now Hangman. Big E caught him with a close line. And Big E's got him down. Big E going to the head of Hangman. Hangman Page is down. And now Nick gets in the ring, goes for a kick. Big E caught him. Big E taking him down. Now Matt in the ring. Big E caught him as well. Big E single-handedly taking out the Bucks right now. Laying in your Xander. Oh, there's a big kick. Standing shooting star from Hangman. Down goes Kofi. Xavier wants back in. He's wiped out by, by Nick Jackson. Or is that's Matt. As now Hangman. Right with firing away on Big E. Forearm strike puts him in the corner. Went for a tag counter. Big E answers back with a right hook. And now Big E, here we go. Big ending. And it's broken up by Nick Jackson with an elbow drop. Matt slides in the ring. Big E has got an assault coming out from all sides. Super kick to Big E. And now the elite standing tall. Now the, and now, wait, hey man, we can take him up for another dead eye. One, no, out of nowhere came Kofi. And Nick Jackson rolls in the ring to wipe out Kofi Kingston. Hangman with the V-trigger. Shoutouts to Kenny on that one. And now, here we go. Hangman Page. Buck. Shot. Lariat. Cover. One. Two. Three. Too little too late for Xavier Woods. The Elite win. Just like that, the elite win. Hangman Adam Page and the Young Bucks get the victory. Hangman Page and the Young Bucks knock off the New Day tonight. Massive victory there. I guess that answers the question tonight. We've been wanting to know what happened when these two factions battled for years. And it seems we got our answer tonight. The Elite. Stand tall. Will Kenny Omega do the same thing tomorrow? That victory for them is just too sweet. We got more action coming up next, folks. As here comes the Viper, Randy Orton, to the ring. A third generation superstar, the Viper, Randy Orton. Thirds, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Making sure. Randy Orton making his way down to the ring. One of the greatest to ever do it. A WWE legend, a surefire Hall of Famer one day. A big matchup here tonight, Randy Orton. Looking to, as he's put it, put a rookie in his place tonight. So Randy Orton making his way down to the ring. The Viper is here. Randy Orton 
Originally didn't want this match. Originally said he had no interest in this match. And then, it turned out to all just be a game of waiting, which is exactly what Randy Orton knows how to do. He knows how to make people wait to get what he wants. Randy Orton would show up on Dynamite about two weeks ago now, almost three weeks, drop absolute Ricky Starks with the RKO and score and leave him laying and say, all right, I'll see you there. And Randy Orton makes his way down to the ring. Orton, when he was a young man, he would test himself against I guess the older generation, but now the old, but now it's the young generation that want to test themselves against Randy Orton. Absolutely, as now here comes absolute Ricky Starks to the ring. Ricky Starks, a big matchup on his hands tonight. Ricky Starks making his way down to the ring. Ready for battle. He wanted this matchup to test himself to show why he is the future of professional wrestling. And well, be careful what you wish for. Ricky Starks. Gender, though, if he wins, he will be the future, I think. I agree. So... Ricky Starks makes his way down the ring. This is what it looks like when a man goes all in on himself. Ricky Starks has made his way to the ring. Without any further ado, it's Orton and Starks one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do this. So Ricky Starks now with an elbow strike knocking down Randy Orton. Randy Orton back in, closed line, taking him down. Randy Orton has got Ricky Starks down, and Randy Orton, knee strike, taking him down. And there's an elbow strike from Ricky Starks. And went for a knee strike now. Counter for counter. You can see Randy Orton's done his homework on Ricky Starks. He's been finding counter after counter here. And now Orton kicks him in the ribs. Orton has got him down. Orton, no, Starks turns around on him. Ricky Starks now. No, Randy Orton into a close line. These two are just going back and forth in the early goings here. Ricky Starks being kicked back. Randy Orton goes for a drop kick. Starks knocks him away. And Ricky Starks now running close line to Randy Orton. Knocks him down. Now Starks drops an elbow on Randy. Starks goes for a kick. Randy Orton out of the way. Randy Orton grabs him, takes him down. Ground and pound on Ricky Starks. Oh, I think Ricky Starks just got busted open. Is Randy Orton punching him away on... One in the head. Orton goes back down. Ricky Starks turns around and Starks punches Orton in the face repeatedly. And Ricky Starks now getting him back up to his feet here. Starks with a jab. Fire away on Orton. Headbutt knocks him back. And Randy Orton thrown across the ring. Off the ropes. Out to the floor. What is Ricky Starks thinking here? Ooh, crash and burn. That's what he was thinking. Randy Orton got out of the way and Orton hit a big clothesline. Ricky Starks goes down. Randy Orton into a clothesline of his own. Orton now getting Starks back up to his feet. Ricky Starks gets caught. Randy Orton throws him back into the ring. And Randy Orton going up into the ring now. Orton has got Starks down. Starks. Oh, Orton out of the way. Went for the drop kick. Starks out of the way. Starks! What a chop block to the Viper. Now they're right hook. Randy Orton in trouble. Ricky Starks. Oh, there's the clothesline. And Randy now into another. Randy Orton ducks him into power slam. Orton going back into the corner. What is Randy thinking here with an elbow? Ricky out of the way. Ricky Starks with the elbow strike. And now here comes Starks. Spear! And in the cover here by Starks. Kick out from Orton. Now Randy Orton. Oh, he cut off there by Starks. Starks, and when they hit there with Orton, ducks it. Orton now, bringing Starks into the ropes. Here we go. Rope Pong. 
DDT from Orton. And now, Randy Orton leading the pig over. He starts very slowly and methodically into the cover here on Ricky Starks. One, two, kick out from Starks. Starks now. Wait, oh, Starks. Starks rolls him up, Xander. One, kick out. I thought we could have been on the verge of an upset there from Ricky Starks. He knocks him back. And now, Randy Orton. That's for a knee strike. Oh, Ricky Starks got out of the way. And now, Ricky. On the way of Orton, Ricky Starks runs in. Randy Orton caught him. Huge German suplex from Randy. And so now Randy Orton knocking him back. Randy Orton. Now Ricky Starks out of the way. And now Randy Starks has got the Viper down. Randy Orton. Starts coming off with an elbow again. And now Ricky Starks. Oh, went for a clothesline. Randy Orton countered. Orton. There it is. RKO. Orton with the RKO. Ricky Starks knocking him off the top ropes. Now Ricky Starks has got Orton down. Ricky Starks hitting Orton here. Orton with a hit toss to Ricky Starks. Big elbow drop to Starks. Now Orton. Oh, well, Orton getting chased up there by Starks. Starks throws him off the ropes. Oh, Wilson suplex. And now Ricky Starks coming off the ropes again. An elbow counter. Oh, Randy, look for the RKO. Ricky Starks scooped him up and slammed him down. Spear! Ricky Starks. Kicks him in the ribs. No counter. Orton. RKO! Nearly had him there, but the ropes coming into play for Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks turning it around. Ricky Starks going up to the top rope. Starks went to the top rope. Randy Orton. Oh, knocked out to the floor. Ricky Starks taking him down. Starks goes to the outside. Right hook to Orton. There's another jab. Look at this. Ricky Starks lighting up. Orton with a hip toss taking him down. There's an elbow drop. An elbow again. Randy counter. Randy. Oh, into the steps. And now, Randy Orton, he's trying to turn things around here. Randy Orton throws him into the uh, into the barricade. Back into the ring now. Randy Orton. Goes into the corner. I didn't even think I, I thought Randy Orton was going to go for the punt, but Ricky Starks comes flying in. But Randy Orton turns it around. Randy goes for the drop kick. Ricky finds the counter. Randy went for a drop kick again. Counter for counter. Ricky Starks, super kick to Orton. Knee strike. Orton is down. Ricky Starks with another knee strike. And now Randy Orton turns it around again. Goes for a drop kick. He starts. Starks. He throws the door ropes again. Here we go, we're gonna go for the DDT again on Starks. Connects. Randy Orton hits the spike DDT. Ricky Starks is down. Randy Orton. Standing over him here. Randy Orton, he's got one thing left to do. 
Oh, he keeps going to the corner like he's going to go for the punt, but Ricky Starks, fortunately, keeps getting up before it can happen. Whoa, Orton, another RKO! Orton with a third RKO to Starks. And Orton goes up on top of Roman is posing. Orton is still yet to go for a cover. Orton's own arrogance might be getting the better of him right now. Goes for the fourth. Starks caught him. Slams him into the mat. And Randy Orton falls out of the ring. And now Ricky Starks hitting the ropes. Ricky Starks tries to reach out to grab Orton, but Orton grabs onto him and Orton pulls him out of the ring. And now Randy Orton has got him down. Close line. And Randy Orton throwing Ricky Starks back into the ring. Ricky Starks in some trouble here. Randy Orton grabs him. Punches him in the face and takes him down. And Orton now goes out of the ring. What is Randy Orton thinking here? Oh, he gets back into the ring now. Orton, close one. And now Randy Orton stomping away. Ricky Starks gets caught. Backbreaker. Close one across the back from Randy Orton. And now Randy Orton. Oh, my God. Is Randy going to try and get himself disqualified here? Randy Orton's going to a dark place right now. He's got that chair in his hands. He really does not want to lose to Ricky Starks here. No, it seems so. Referee getting the chair out of his hand. And Orton now arguing with the referee. Ricky Starks runs into him. Close one. Went back up to his feet now. Ricky Starks kicks him in the ribs. Orton got cocky. Row, sham, bow. Starks with the row, sham, bow. Ocean Bo connects, and he's gonna go for it again, Xander. A second one. Cover, but a rope break. That's been the name of the game tonight, hasn't it? Yep. As now, Ricky Starks getting Randy Orton up. Ricky Starks kicks him in the ribs, pulls him in for a third. Rochambeau turns Orton over into a cover. One, two, three. Ricky Starks. Talk about a career-defining win for Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks just got the win. Ricky Starks beats Randy Orton. You heard it here first. What a win for Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks with the win. Ladies and gentlemen, we only have a few matches left tonight. Up next, this one is going to be huge. Here comes the man. So, Becky Lynch has made her way down to the ring. The man has come around. Becky Lynch, more than ready to go here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a big matchup here tonight, folks. Becky Lynch makes her way down to the ring. As she waits for many ways, Miss AEW. Absolutely. You might consider Becky Lynch Miss WWE. But now, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, is in the house. Britt Baker 
Hey, she had a really good night last week. Last week at Impact Multiverse matches, she knocked off the Death Dolls in a three-on-three in a three matchup. Now tonight, she gets the chance to knock off the man Becky Lynch. Be a great couple of weeks for Britt Baker. That would definitely put her in title contention, I would think. I don't know. I'm not running AEW anymore. It's not my shit to run. That's your job now, bud. Yep. As soon as the show ends tomorrow, I am hands off with AEW. I'll drink to that. So Dr. Britt Baker, DMD's made her way to the ring. Baker and Becky Lynch here going back and forth. Starting off strong here. Britt knocks her in the ropes. Becky counters. Becky. Crucifix takes her down into a cover now. Becky Lynch for the one. No kick out from Britt Baker. Yeah, I think whoever wins this matchup is definitely going to be a favorite heading into WrestleMania and Double or Nothing season for their title picture, respectively. As now, oh, there's a backflip from Becky Lynch. Running clothesline. Becky Lynch knocking her down. Britt Baker goes down. And now Becky Lynch firing away. Britt Baker counters and Britt Baker kicks her in the ribs. Britt with a forearm knocks Becky back into the corner. And now there's a knee strike. That's for a kick now. And now Britt Baker kicked in the back. Becky Lynch getting back to her feet here. And now the man runs in. Crucifix taking her down. Britt Baker goes down. Becky Lynch has her on the outside now. And Becky, what is the man thinking here? Britt Baker. Grabs onto her. Oh, pulls Becky out of the ring, does Britt. Britt Baker taking her down. Oh, stomping on the knee. And Becky Lynch. And Britt Baker. Taking her down now. And now Becky Lynch. Throw into the barricade here by Britt Baker. And now Britt Baker, as Becky Lynch throws her into the steps. And now Britt has got her down. Britt Baker stomps out the arm of Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch trying to survive here. And now Becky Lynch being dragged around. Britt Baker throws her back into the ring. Never at the count of five now as Britt follows Becky back into the ring. And Britt Baker has got her down. Picking Becky back up to her feet. Britt Baker goes for a kick. Becky counters. Kicks out the leg. Becky Lynch now. Oh, here we go. Disarmor. Disarmor is in on Britt Baker. Becky's got the disarmor in tight. She's trying to make Britt Baker a submit here tonight. Britt Baker, though, gets out of it. Shoves Becky Lynch away. Now Britt. What is she thinking here? Britt Baker. Sling blade to Becky Lynch. Taking her down. And slams down the arm. Britt's got a hold of her now. And Britt Baker. No one elbow in the ribs from Becky Lynch. Now Becky's knocked her back. Becky Lynch with a flying forearm strike. Taking down Britt Baker again. That's right elbow drop. Britt out of the way now. And Britt, as Becky Lynch, punches her right in the mouth and kicks out the knee. And again. And now Britt getting Becky Lynch back up to her feet. Britt Baker with Becky Lynch into the corner. Becky Lynch in trouble. Britt Baker grabs onto her now. And Britt, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Britt Baker, middle rope. Panama Sunrise. Cover. For the one, two, Becky Lynch kicks out. Britt Baker using a move that her boyfriend Adam Cole famously uses. Becky into a small package though. One, no. And now Becky has got Britt down and Becky Lynch tries to grab her. Britt Baker kicking out the legs. And now Britt Baker knocks back. Becky Lynch kicks her the ribs. Here we go. Well, we're talking about Britt Baker's boyfriend. There's the move of Becky Lynch's husband. Britt with a curb stomp to Becky Lynch for the one, two, kick out from Becky Lynch. And now, Becky Lynch throws her maker. Oh, big hip toss there from Lynch. Lynch now coming off the ropes. And a leg drop. It's the ropes again, and another leg drop. Now Becky Lynch going for it again. There's a third leg drop. She's going to go for a fourth. Britt got out of the way. Becky lands hard on the tailbone. Close line there from Becky from Britt to Becky. 
Now Britt Baker kicking away out of Britt Baker. Oh, Becky Lynch tries to fly in. Britt knocks her back down. Britt grabs onto her, lifts up Becky. Back body drop, taking her down. Now Britt Baker getting Becky Lynch back to her feet. Close line into another. And now Britt grabs the leg, kicks out the leg. Britt Baker now is down. Becky Lynch getting picked back up to her feet. Britt, super kick. Back up again now, and Britt grabs on, throwing Becky off the ropes. Britt Baker goes for the clothesline. Becky caught the ropes now, and Britt Baker elbow strike to Becky. And the ring now goes Becky Lynch. And now Becky Britt Baker. What is Britt Baker in here? Britt Baker. Oh, trying to fly. Nobody home. And now Becky Lynch. Using this opportunity, this small window of opportunity. Oh, slamming Britt Baker now. It's the manhandle slam on the floor, and Becky Lynch throwing her back towards the ring, grabs her from behind, throws her back into the ring. Britt Baker is down. Becky Lynch now going up to the top rope, and the man went for an elbow drop. Britt out of the way, and Britt Baker with a drop kick to the head of Becky Lynch. Now grabs onto her and Britt punches Becky in the face. Britt Baker now grabs onto her, tying up the legs of Becky, turns her around. Britt Baker grabs the arm, stretches her out, stomps Becky in the back of the head. Down goes the man. And now Britt getting Becky Lynch back up to her feet. Britt Baker with Becky Lynch into the corner. Here we go. Britt running in. Becky got out of the way. Britt went knee first into that turnbuckle and Becky Stretching her out, and Becky Lynch drops her. Puts her down now, and now Britt Baker. And Becky Lynch back up now, and right hooks connecting. Again now, and now Britt kicks her in the ribs. And slap her face, knocking back Becky Lynch. Britt Baker. In the ribs again now, and Becky Lynch. As over taking her down, Britt Baker stomped in the chest by Becky Lynch. And there's an elbow drop as well. Now Becky hits the rope. Becky Lynch. Leg drop connects. The ropes again. And Becky Lynch with another one. Lynch taking her down now. Becky Lynch getting Britt back up to her feet. Goes for her again. Britt Baker ducks. And Britt kicking out the legs of Becky. Lynch knocked back. Britt Baker grabs hold of her now. And Britt. Whoa, Britt. Famous her. Takes her down. Now Britt Baker slams down the arm. Becky Lynch is down. Britt Baker, no. Becky takes out the legs. And Becky now hanging the ropes. There's a leg drop. And Becky coming off the ropes again. Becky Lynch hits the leg drop again. And now Lynch getting Baker back up to her feet with a slap. Becky Lynch firing away now. And Becky Lynch uppercut connects. And now Becky going up to the top. What is Lynch thinking here? Becky Lynch. Britt staggering back to her feet. Becky Lynch. Oh my God! Does a 450 and turns it into a Meteora. Two. No! And now Becky looking to put Britt Baker down. Going for Manhandle Slam. Good night, Britt Baker. One. Two. two. No! Britt still trying to survive here. The inaugural AEW Women's Champion, the inaugural Raw Women's Champion, trading blows back and forth here. As Becky comes off the ropes, Britt went for the legs, and Becky Lynch knocked down. And now Britt, lockjaw. Lock jaw by Britt Baker. Britt has got the lock jaw in. Stretching out Becky Lynch. Trying to put her down here. Trying to force the submission. Britt Baker. This is her best move in her arsenal. It's a move that won her many a title matches when she was the AEW Women's Champion. Will it capture victory over Becky Lynch tonight though? Trying to stretch her out now. Becky. 
Gets a knee into the face of Britt, knocking her back. Becky Lynch grabs onto her, throws her off the ropes, and hip toss, taking her down. And Becky getting her back up to her feet here. Becky Lynch, close line, into another, and drop kick connects. And now Becky Lynch hits the ropes again. Leg drop. And Lynch, one more time. Went for another one, Becky. Nearly got her, Britt got out of the way. And now Britt, sling blade from Britt Baker. Britt Baker knocking her down now, kicks Becky in the ribs, and Britt coming off the ropes. No, Becky counted the stomp. Popped her up and caught her out of the air. Becky caught her with the stomp there, like Xander, like you said. And here we go, Becky Lynch. Throws her off the corner there. And Becky now puts her on the top rope, Lynch. With Britt on the top rope. Into Superplex. A massive Superplex there. And now Becky Lynch to the outside. Taking her down. Becky Lynch staying on Britt Baker here. Becky Lynch now getting back in the ring. Back in the ring now. Lynch has got her down. Britt Baker's down. Becky turns her over and Becky Lynch. What is she thinking here? The man circling DMD kicks her down. Becky. Pulling the ropes again now. Becky Lynch. No! Britt got out of the way again. Now Britt Baker. Close line. Connect. And now Britt grabs onto her. Britt Baker now. Becky Lynch answers back. And Becky. Right hook turns her around. Becky Lynch. Here we go. Third time. Manhandle slam. And she grabs Britt one more time. Picks her up. And Becky. One more. Center of the ring. Just for good measure. But she's not done. One more time. Becky Lynch. Manhandle Man slam. slam. One, two, three. She got her. Just like that. The manhandle slam seals the deal. Becky Lynch beats Dr. Britt Baker, TMD. A massive, massive victory there for Becky Lynch tonight. That was our second to last matchup of the evening, but folks, up next, it's the main event. The WWE Championship is gonna be on the line inside Madison Square Garden. Becky Lynch celebrates the win, but this is your night one main event. Here he is. The first ever LS11 AEW World Champion, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. He's in New York's, he's New York's own, he's from Long Island. But tonight he's still in enemy territory because he's on WWE's home turf of Madison Square Garden. MJF making his way to the ring. Everyone has said that if any title is going to an outsider on Forbidden War. It's here, it's now, it's MJF winning the WWE Championship. That could definitely be Xander. MJF making his way to the ring. A match MJF has won pretty much since he started wrestling. MJF, a cocky son of a bitch, to say the least. Unapologetically. MJF. Tonight he goes one on one with John Cena. So MJF has made his way to the ring. And now, here comes the champ. I don't even know what that was, to be honest. Here he is. Mr. WWE himself, Mr. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. The WWE champion. John Cena. Time to go to work. 
John Cena. Last month, we all saw Xander. He would beat AJ Styles to take the WWE Championship. Absolutely saved his career in the main event of Survivor Series. Became the new WWE World Champion. And now tonight, John Cena. Defending that title. This is his first defense of the gold. He's had a few matches on Raw over the last five weeks. But tonight is his defense. He might have saved his career last month. But can he save his home turf this month? The WWE Champ is here. So John Cena is here. The WWE Champion is in the building. There it is, the WWE title. The challenger from Long Island, New York, weighing in tonight at 231 pounds. MJF. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in tonight at 253 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, John Cena. John Cena hanging out the WWE Championship, and there it is. What well, MJF wants the whole thing being shown right to him. MJF wants to win the WWE title and carry it next year into the great bidding war of 2024. Cena and MJF one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. MJF rolling for a clothesline. Cena cut. John Cena puts MJF up on his shoulders. Going for the AA early. MJF fighting out of it. MJF targeting the legs of Cena. Takes out the legs now. MJF punching Cena in the face. Fired away on him. Cena knocks him back. And now John Cena knocking back MJF here. Cena with a jab to the gut. Knocks him back. And Cena with MJF into the corner. And flips him across the ring. And now John Cena. No. MJF out of the way. Oh. Clothesline connects on John Cena. John Cena taking MJF up for the power bomb. And now MJF rolls through it, and MJF into a cover on Cena. There's the one. There's the two. No. MJF, no, Cena's turning around. One, no. Cena went for a jab. MJF countered now, and MJF, whoa, dodges the punch. Near the face of Cena. Hits the ropes. MJF, big kick to the face, followed by another. Cena staggering back to his feet. MJF went for a kick. Cena out of the way. These two have got each other well scattered so far. Seems there are their verbal battles on the mic haven't been the only thing they've studied one another with. As now Cena gets a hold of MJF, picking him back up to his feet. Cena with a jab at another. John Cena knocking MJF back. And now John Cena knocks MJF back into the corner. Cena grabs on to him. As MJF punches him in the face. And John Cena, double axe handle attempt. MJF counters, punched in the face. Back Cena now, MJF firing away on him, shoves him into the ropes. MJF, MJF has him against the ropes here, hanging up John Cena, hanging him up in the ropes. Oh, and MJF, big knees to the face of Cena, and Cena falls to the outside. Cena tumbling to the floor now, and MJF telling Cena to get back in here. To the outside now, John Cena grabs on, gets caught, MJF caught with a jawbreaker. And now Cena with a jab, and again, Cena kicks him in the ribs. John Cena with MJF, throws up the ramp. Referee the count of three. And now, grabs onto him, Cena turns him over, kicks him in the back. Referee the count of four here, Cena with MJF, throws him into the apron. Referee the count of five, now there's a kick. MJF, close line to Cena. Count of six now, he grabs onto him and back into the ring he goes. MJF following him right behind Cena now. Cena with a drop kick takes him down. And now Cena grabs onto MJF and John Cena pulls him in and back body drop takes him down. Cena has got MJF down. Cena 
with MJF. Right where he wants him, MJF rolls through. Cena gets caught. MJF floats over into a neck breaker. Grabs onto Cena though, and Cena pops up. Jawbreaker. Drop kick again. I mean, what's gonna happen if MJF wins tonight? As now MJF caught STF. STF here to MJF. Cena with the M with the STF in. I prefer the old when it comes to it being against MJF. I prefer the old name STFU. As now MJF out of the face of Cena. But now, wait, rather, if MJF does win tonight, it will shake WWE to its very core. Yo, and their championship will be on Tuesdays. Yep. I don't even know how you get it back at this point. Or on Wednesday. Oh, right. It's, AEW moves to Wednesday this week. Forgot about that. Yes. Instead, I'll be, uh, I don't know what I'll be doing on Tuesdays. Probably nothing until, probably nothing until August. Wait a minute. Whoa, win for the AA. MJF catches Cena. Oh, takes him down. Cover. One. Two. No. Whoa. MJF can hardly believe Cena kicked out. And now MJF. MJF. Close oh, one. Big close line there. Cena rolls back to his feet. Cena. That's press. Taking down MJF. And John Cena's got him down. Cena. Elbow drop. Taking down MJF. MJF's down, Cena, look out, MJF catches him, kicks him in the ribs, pulls him in, MJF, DDT to Big Match John, into a cover now, MJF, for the one, two, Cena kicks out again, Cena rolls into the bottom rope now, he's got it, MJF's got him right where he wants him, MJF is on the attack right now, went for the leg, Cena out of the way, Cena with a clothesline taking down MJF. John Cena now getting him back up to his feet. MJF with Cena. Cena throws him back into the ring. Cena now grabs him. Tells MJF, you can't see me. Five. Knuckle. Shuffle. And Cena going to look to put him away now. Get the three count over Max. Scoops him up on his shoulders. No. Cena still can't get the AA. Cena unable to get the air again, and now Maxwell Jacob Freeman! Salt of the Earth! The Salt of the Earth armbar is in on Cena. MJF, he told Cena, he's told Cena that all of his words are, are empty, empty words, empty threats. Cena with an in the face. MJF, we're going to make sure that he proves that the phrase never give up is a lie. As whip for the elbow did Cena. MJF out of the way. Another clothesline staggers John. And now John Cena grabs MJF. MJF, bulldog to Cena, taking him down. And now MJF knees into the side of Cena, taking him down. Grabs onto him, getting him back to his feet. MJF with Cena, sending him off the ropes. Out of the ring goes John Cena. And now MJF has Cena down. MJF. Takes down the announce tabletop, throws the, throws the monitors down. MJF with Cena, getting him back to his feet. What is MJF thinking here? Goes for a kick. Oh, Cena punches Cena. him. Got him right in the mouth on that one, but MJF ducked him. MJF now grabs Cena, throwing John Cena into the announce table. Referee the count of four here. MJF grabbing hold of John Cena. MJF puts the champion on the table. MJF. MJF has Cena now. MJF has got him on the table. MJF kicks him in the ribs. And Brain Buster sends Cena through the announce table. MJF gets him back to his feet now. And MJF throwing John Cena back in the ring at the count of six. And MJF walking back into the ring and walking into his cover on John Cena. To become the new Wait, Cena. Cena dodged it. Here we go. Cena. Here it is. Shoulder block. Shoulder block. Into back body drop. Cena's got MJF right where he wants him. Kicks him back down one more time. Cena, here we go. Five knuckle shuffle. Incoming. Cena. 
There's the fourth, but he's yet to hit that dreaded fifth move of doom. Could this finally be where he hits it? Cena gets MJF. Attitude adjustment for the one, two, no! MJF kicked out. Cena gets him back to his feet, hits the ropes. Oh, MJF caught him. Picks him up on his shoulders, dicks him down with the knee into the back. Now MJF getting Cena back up to his feet. There's a right hook, and again, and again, MJF knocking Cena back in the corner. Scoops him up, and MJF punches him in the gut. Going to the top rope. What is MJF thinking here? Oh my god! MJF! Cena flopping down to the ground there. MJF using gravity to try to almost break Cena's neck. And now MJF. Went for the elbow, Cena out of the way. Now John Cena, right hook turns MJF around, grabs onto him, picks him up. Oh, wait a minute, on the floor. He's got him up on his shoulders, on the floor, carrying him around for the AA. Cena. Now MJF fights out of it again. Now MJF kicks Cena in the ribs, MJF. Hooks the arms, pops him up, dropping Cena back first onto the floor. Very, very thin padding, protecting Cena's back from just solid concrete there. And MJF, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. MJF. A steel chair in hand. MJF, I think, wants to get himself disqualified. As now MJF with a chair in hand, and the referee's not stopping him. MJF. Swings it. No! Cena knocks it out of his hands. And now John Cena with a double axe handle. Grabs MJF right back into STF. Cena's got the STF in on MJF. MJF just tried to blatantly cheat, get himself disqualified, but Cena caught him. Has him in the STF now. Cena's pulling back on him as hard as he can. He's trying to make MJF tap out right now, but MJF. MJF frees himself and now elbowing Cena. Gets him off. Hits him in the face repeatedly with elbow strikes down. MJF close line. Cena's down. MJF has got him right where he wants him now. Kicks him in the ribs. MJF. DDT to Cena. Into another cover here. MJF for the one, two. Kick out again from Cena. And now MJF pulling him in. Oh, he just slaps the world champion in the face. MJF now no Cena counters. Jawbreaker from John Cena. John Cena now crossbody taking him down. Cena. Down with another, another double axe handle. Cena. What's he thinking here? John Cena. He's got that chair. And Cena trying to get the chair out of here. Cena. Whoa! Springboard! MJF got out of the way. It's not often you see John Cena go for a springboard. And MJF makes him pay with a closed line. And now Cena staggering. MJF's got the chair. MJF. Whoa! Cena out of the way again. And now John Cena with a chair out of the ring. Throws MJF out of the ring as well. Cena threw him so hard the kid fell on the outside. And Cena, oh my god, tried to dive. MJF got out of the way. John Cena over a suicide dive. And now Cena throwing MJF into the barricade. MJF. Picking up John Cena here. John Cena sees me in trouble. Throws him into the ring. And now here MJF. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, no. Look out. Diamond ring. The dynamite diamond ring coming into play. The referee did not see it. Is the dynamite diamond ring going to lead to a WWE title win? MJF. Soul to the earth. Salt of the Earth is in. Cena's gonna tap. Cena's about to tap out for the first time in almost 20 years. Cena trying not to submit here. Now Cena rolls through. Neither the skull of MJF. MJF just, I think MJF's eyes just glazed over. Cena runs in, went for the clothesline. MJF ducked him. Cena went for a right hook. MJF with a knee strike. And now MJF. Oh, went low. MJF tried to shoot one more time, tried to go for a low blow, gets caught. Attitude adjustment. And now Cena. 
This crowd wants one more time, so Cena's gonna oblige. You can't see me. Hits the ropes. Five, knuckle, shuffle, connects again. And now John Cena. MJF is really confused now. Grabs MJF, launches him in the corner, and John Cena with MJF to the top rope. Here we go, right hook, right across the face. John Cena picking MJF up. Avalanche, AA. Turns him over. Cover, one, two, three. MJF tried everything. You can be the most dastardly man in professional wrestling. You can do everything in your power to cheat, but you will never, under any circumstances, beat John Cena by cheating. It doesn't matter how hard you get him. Cena always kicks out at two. John Cena once, once again proving he is not an old man and he has still plenty more left in the tank. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching night one of the Forbidden War. We'll be back in 24 hours tomorrow morning, Sunday, May the 14th. Until then, I've been Xander. I've been Ray. And that was Universe.